Oh, hi everyone, and welcome to today's show here on the Academy. Show three out of four today. Here we are. Welcome, one and all. Um, before we go round and introduce everyone, uh, just a few things from me. Um, first of all, if you're not already a part of our community, uh, come and get involved. Here are my social links. Our Discord is a, an inclusive, uh, safe place where you can come and talk about D&D, learn about D&D, talk about other TTRPGs, talk about other things in life. Basically, you can come and find some friends there. Um, go and join up. Um, if you want to get involved in a game very much like this one, send me a DM on Twitter and I'll get you in a game. It's as simple as that. Uh, I've got a few games left uh, this side of Christmas, and also I'll be setting up Christmas specials sometime very soon. So um, hit me up and we'll get you some games, um, and we'll be sorting out the January season very soon. I can almost certainly promise there'll be another three games a week with up to spaces for up to 12 new players. Uh, and if you want to catch up on some of our regular, um, regular campaigns, head over to YouTube. Uh, which is also linked there. Uh, you'll find everything is thumbnailed, it's in playlists, it's amazing. Uh, partly in thanks actually to Mr. Donovan Fry, uh, who helped me sort that all out a long time ago. Because um, believe it or not, before I spoke to Don, I was uploading and downloading everything manually. Um, crazy, crazy times. Um, what else have we got? Guys, we're full time. Um, and it's mostly thanks to you. We're three days into our fiscal month and we've already made well over 10% of our monthly cost budget. So. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, your support is crazy. Um, love you all. Keep it coming. <laughs> love you. Um, we also have a Patreon. Uh, a Patreon, you can set up a monthly subscription uh, for as much as you would like uh, from as little as a dollar. Um, but even if you can't uh, can't support us in that way, uh, still head over to the Patreon because our articles are free to read. And we do articles about um, TTRPGs and safety, com safety stuff and all sorts. So um, please head over there and check it out. Um, and also, if you are a Patreon and you haven't clicked on the link yet um, to enable alerts in stream, you can now do that so that I can see when you've resubbed, re-Patreoned, just like a sub. So, do that too. Uh, we also have merchandise, which I am now finally brandishing. I can't quite see it, it's <laughs> off the bottom of the camera, but there we go. Uh, look out for that next weekend when I'm at um, MCM Comic Con if you're going. Uh, I look forward to seeing you there. Um, Alice assures me that this t-shirt will be washed by next week. She assures me, so um, we'll see. Um, <laughs> uh, I also have sponsors. Uh, please check out Bird in the Storm Publishing, um, who are one of our two sponsors. Uh, they are um, a wonderful community who do most of their stuff for charity. Uh, Jay and Tall School are wonderful faces in this community. If you don't know them already, go and check them both out. Um, and also Mage Hand Press. Uh, you can see Mage Hand Press on Fridays during Alice's show, um, Argo 37, where we play the Dark Matter Space 5e reskin of um uh produced by Maytown press called dark matter anyway check out the free 30 page review and the pre-order stuff it's all good stuff go and check it out um we don't have a competition anymore because um i someone has won it but i haven't figured out who yet but i will do that i'll do it probably monday um probably uh i don't know why i've just linked the competition because there isn't one uh but i have linked the tweet as well because every 10 retweets we will test our improv skills with a wild magic surge um, from our very own Wild Magic Surge table. If you would like to add to the table or view the table, head over to our Discord group where um, you can find it in the suggestion box tab. Uh, we're currently up to 546 Wild Magic Surges. Um, I think my little sister just popped into the chat for the first time, so everyone welcome her as well. Um, let's go around. Let's say hello to everyone. Um, we'll go around clockwise um, and uh, introduce ourselves. Uh, so I am Scraticus. You guys can uh, call me by any pronouns you like. Uh, I'm not picky. Um, and uh, we'll go around that way. So, um, Faye, tell us briefly about yourself and your character. Yeah, so uh, my name is Faye, uh, preferred pronouns she and her. I will be playing Aza Lighttree, who is a human rogue. Um, she is kind of just here for the ride. She likes, you know, uh, she likes getting hired out. She likes making money. Um, and other than that, she's kind of uh, just here to hang out. Just here to hang out. Okay, cool. Uh, how about Don? I am Don. Uh, he, him. And today I will be playing Sir Toom. Uh, he is a paladin. Uh, he is a paladin of Caius, but he doesn't broadcast that, you know, to the public. It's not a very popular god in the world. Uh, he wears a dark iron mask to cover his facial features and a hood. And he's just sort of big, brooding, and pretty dumb. And Sir Tomb's not the not the sharpest tool in the shed, okay. and he's here for for reasons. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, this is a popular stop-off location. It's really the only point between two large cities. So, 
quite a few people are just traveling through and they wish to keep their business to themselves. That's that's their prerogative. Uh, next around the clock, we have Paige. Oh, hi, Paige. Hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Paige. Uh, she, her. I'm playing Sarah Steve. She is a celestial warlock and uh, she really just, you know, friends or family. She's here for everyone she loves, which hopefully will be everyone at this table. Of course. Fantastic. And last, but most certainly not least, uh, my beloved wife and headmaster, headmistress of the academy, uh, Alice. Hi, I'm Alice. I am playing an Earth Genasi uh, called Bismuth. Um, she is quite happy-go-lucky, but again, not super intelligent <laughs> or anything. I uh, like that, so this is going to be fun and safe. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so tell me. Who do you think would arrive first, and who do you think would arrive last? I think Tomb's probably been there for a while, and just standing in the corner of the tavern, you could almost hang a coat on him. He's so still. He's he's almost a statue in his in his armor, and he he's just watching from behind his mask, not saying any, anything. Every once in a while, you might hear a. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, so this is a, quite a small tavern. Um, there's only really, there's not enough room to have a, a barmaid and a waitress. It's a one job fits all. So there's just one barmaid. Um, there's a door that leads somewhere backwards, um, but it's just a small room with about five or six tables and a bar area at the front. Um, in one of the booths uh, sits uh, an older woman um, with a hunched figure uh, and a uh, crooked nose. She is... She, she keeps to herself, but there is a, a small, uh, someone opposite her um, that is keeping themselves shadowed. Um, there's also two people sitting in the middle of the room. Uh, they are sitting at a table in the middle of the room. They are talking jovially. Uh, they look like um, a farmhand and maybe a delivery boy from the main city. He's wearing like a, like the equivalent of a royal mail outfit. We'll call it um, water deep mail. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, also there is a man in armor with a long white mustache uh, sitting in another corner of the room over in a booth um, these are the people so as Don as Sir Altoom sorry is already in the room in what order do we think the rest of you might arrive I feel like I would just probably walk in like be a midder I'd be a mid person coming in and I'd probably see the talking people and want to talk to them. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Uh, well, they'll welcome you to the table. Um, did you? Sorry, can you? Uh, I, I've, can you give me another description of your character again? Just a just a brief one. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, mid height, kind of average sandy blonde hair. You know, she, just a casual. She's got a big smile. She's all about this life. She just wants to have you know everyone have fun and have a good time. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so um, as you uh, approach these people, they're like, oh, you're right, love. Can I help you? Well, is this chair free? Yeah, certainly. I'll, I'll get you a beer as well. Uh, Louise, can we get a beer? Yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> uh, what are you guys doing here? Uh, well, I'm from, uh, I'm from uh, the, the north, you know, uh, and uh, my friend here, he's from Waterdeep down south. Hi. Oh, that's... Yeah, I'm I'm from Waterdeep. <laughs> is, is he the one wearing the the Waterdeep mail? And I'm like, that's a that's a fancy that's a fancy mail right there. I'm really really digging that. Oh, thanks. Um. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get some beers in, and they make an order. Soon, beer arrives. Um, and they'll they'll make polite conversation with you, you know. Um, is there, would you like to steer the conversation, or are you just enjoying the ride? Enjoying the ride. Fantastic, fantastic. So they're just shooting the breeze. They're, they they very quickly turn to um, talking about uh, things, funny stories that they know, funny anecdotes. So one of them talks about the time that um, he he was he managed to out drink a horse from a trough, and like it's 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 clearly like there's an element of. Mm, Okay, maybe you and a horse drank from the same trough, but did you outdrink it? You know, that sort of thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Who would come in next? 
Uh, I think I would come in next. I'll, it's uh, Azaz kind of like a kind of go with the flow kind of person. Probably has like really long, really, really long dark black hair. She's got some braids in it. Maybe like a really long cloak with like a really long dress. Think like hippie, 60s child. Just like slowly moving in, saying hello to people. Probably smoking on a pipe. There may be some substances in this pipe. Um, and kind of just like slinks over to the bar, sits down, waves at the bartender. All right, love, what can I get you? Um, how about just a beer? What do you have on tap today? Uh, well, uh, we've got some of the uh, water deep mud, uh, mucky duck, and uh, the sozzled pig. Sounds groovy. I'll do the mud, you know. All right. One water deep mud. It's actually selling quite well, that one. It's quite fresh. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds groovy. I'll go and get you that now. Uh, take a seat anywhere or sit at the bar. I don't mind. It's up to you. He goes back to All the right. bar. Thanks, dude. Was, was that a man? Was that a bar? Uh, no, no, that was my best barmaid. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> From the review. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't mind if you call her dude. Um, <laughs> she's she's used to people being a you know she just thinks you're half cut. Um, so she's she pours you this drink and uh, she uh, she passes it over to you and um, she's like, "Traveling are we?" Tra Traveling far, staying long. Uh you know, just passing through, you know. Ah, uh, a traveller on the breeze. Yeah. I wish I could be like that sometimes, but here I am working my day to day, you know, I've got bills to pay. <laughs> well, I'm sure life will just bring whatever it is that you need, dude. Uh, that's kind of philosophical. I like that. Life will bring yeah. me whatever I need. Mm hmm. That sounds real great. Uh, have you noticed that bloke standing over in the corner? Who's that? And at, at this point, Sir Toom is like actually clump, clump, clump. Like he's come up to the bar. So like he would be like right behind them if they turned to look. Hey, uh, dude, what's going on? Uh, 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 Bellmaid, you've been standing there for so long. She's a little nervous around you. She's like, uh, hi, hi. Can I get you something normal, like a drink? <laughs> Paper. Do you have paper and a quill? Uh, um, I've got maybe I've got something I can write receipts on. Uh, um, the back of a receipt or like some napkins. Could I have heard this? Yeah, sure. Okay, I, I hear him ask for a paper and a quill, and I'm like, oh, oh, wait, wait. I have what you need, and I'm gonna dig in my bag and start to produce it and like excuse myself from the table. He, he'll turn and then he'll in like his shoulders swing evenly as he turns and he stomps on over he holds out a male gauntleted hand and says thank you you're, you're welcome yeah here we go what's going on up here everyone this sets the paper down and you see if you're watching you'll see him draw with a quill uh, a really, really bad, like a like a child's drawing version of what might be a man. Maybe it's a bear. It's really hard to tell. He's got uh, like a weird mustache. And he holds it up, and the paper kind of crumples in his hand. He says, "Have you seen this man?" Uh, no. Is is it a man? Am I also part of this conversation? Is because he's yeah, just yeah. at the bar. Mm -hmm. Is it a stick? He'll, he'll start figure. showing us a blue one. It's like a stick, <laughs> a stick thing. figure uh, with like the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> She's like squinting um, at it. He'll, he'll take it around and show it to everybody. <laughs> you, do you, you man? <laughs> do you mean? Are you talking about Sir Reginald over in the corner over there, the guy in the in the shiny mail? Oh, yes. <laughs> Crumble up the paper. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's he's just over there. You can go and I can. I mean, if you want to join him, that would be something that a normal person would do, perhaps with a drink. What is going on over here? That's a very good question. 
Nothing. Nothing is going on. I just wanted to know if you'd seen him. You never saw me here. Go, go back to the corner. Go still. <laughs> Last to the party. Alice, the sun is setting as you arrive. I got lost. I want to point out, first of all, which is why I'm late. I am an Earth Genasi, and my skin is after her name, Bismuth, which is a metal which is fairly uh, shiny and hard. it's got that sort of metallic and oil slick where all the colours sort of seem to shift over as they move. Though her hair is like matted, muddy dreadlocks because she looks far more very unkept, like with this just mass on her head. And she just sort of strolls in. She's looking around and then walks straight up to the bar and just slams some coins down on the table. Oh, that sounds like a heavy bag. You're a... Right. Um, 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 and she just sort of looks quite nervously around. Um, I, I was, um, oh God, I'm picking up your accent. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go Irish because I cannot pick anything else. <laughs> I, I was hoping for a pint myself. Oh, certainly I can get you a pint. What would you like? We've got the muddy duck. We've got the water deep mud, which is nearly out, to be honest. Or uh, we've got the other one, which I said about, which was the um, the other one. The pig one. The pig one. I the pig one. I can see it on the label. That's right. That's the one. Yeah, I'll get I you some of the... One. You want some of the pig? All right. That one. <laughs> there you go, my lover. And I just sort of take it and I would like to just start downing it because I haven't had anything to drink in a very long time. Okay, are you drinking to get drunk or are you just quenching no, your I'm, thirst? No, I'm sort of thirst quenching, not, no. Awesome, so um, you can very quickly begin downing this pint. Now, your, um, let's bring up the overlay again because I can't, I can't read Zoom these days. Uh, Cerisee, when you were sitting with the two chaps, you might have noticed that they were a little bit nervous. Um, especially the guy in the Waterdeep male. He was very bravado, but there was something nervous about him. Okay. Uh, is he still... Are they still there? Yeah, they're still there. Uh, like They're sort of looking around now and almost speaking conspiratorially. Well, I'm at the bar with all my... like. In my mind, if I've talked to you, you're my new friend. I'm sitting with all my new friends and I'm just like, hey, you know, I, I was at this table. They seem pretty cool. He's got the shiny mail, you know, uh, and I'm like, you, you're you shiny. Hi, I, uh, I'm Circe. She's talking to Bismuth. Hey, Bismuth. <laughs> oh, Bismuth sort of stares at you a little bit and um, she sort of just drinks from her drink. She seems quite eager to meet people, but she's shocked that someone has approached her. She said, you could say I'm shiny, yes? <laughs> I, I, I guess, I'm not really. Okay, I'm going to change accent again because I cannot keep either. <laughs> today is not a good day. So... <laughs> I'm going to go normal today because it's not happening. So, uh, um, I'm a little bit shiny, I guess. Um, you're not? I hope that doesn't offend you or anything. I mean, I'm just here to meet friends, meet people. Hi, hi, what's your name? Seriously. Oh yeah, you said that, yeah. I'm Bismuth. And there's a, there's a real like, weird looking bunch of people in here. And she just sort of looks around at everyone. I'm like, well, do you guys want to go hang out at this table? Like, which one, which one? The one with the other shiny person, but like external shiny, not totally shiny. Yeah, I'm up for chatting to an external shiny person. And uh, I see this love child as well here. I'm like, oh, hey, uh, what you doing over here by yourself? Hey, no, it just, it's just hanging out. You know, it's cool. It's cool. What is that you're smoking? <laughs> oh, like it's just like wafted in it. <laughs> Do you want to try some? It'll make you feel really good. <laughs> no, no, I'm okay, thank you. But thank you for the offer. It is appreciated. To each their own, man. It's groovy. Like you want to, you want to join too? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. What's your name? 
Oh, hey, I'm, I'm seriously, you know, I would smoke it, but I did that once and I went up naked running through a field. So, you know, learn once. Oh, yeah. I mean, I do that on the regular. That's called Sunday. I'm Azza. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Who's the, uh, the creepy guy at the back? And she's like gesturing to Sertung, who's just decided to restand. And but... he's like right behind you now. And you're like, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Didn't say I that. am Tomb. <laughs> you can call me Tomb. Tomb. I. You look like you need to relax. And I offer over the pipe. He takes the pipe and like looks at it. Does it make you stronger? Does it make you faster? No, kind of the opposite. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. All right, to each their back. own, man. It's groovy, it's cool. Are any of you assassins? <laughs> what kind of question like is that? To, <laughs> I like to begin my conversations that way just to be safe. Are you an assassin? Why do you ask? That's like not a cool no. way to greet people, bro. <laughs> it is a dangerous world we live in. One cannot be too careful. I, I just came here for a drink and because I heard some interesting stuff gets here. And I, some guy pointed me in the complete wrong direction. It took me hours to get here. This guy was sitting on a cart snickering through the whole like conversation. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, go down the road and go left. Yeah, yeah. He's completely <laughs> followed him like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you see a bush that looks like your mother, turn right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, uh, uh, Tomb, uh, that's an interesting question. I am not an assassin. Uh, would you care to join us and ask these people at this table? Are you going to ask them if they're assassins as well? Because I don't think that's going to go down well. <laughs> yes. No, I think it will go down well. Okay, well, I'm you ask them first and I'll watch. Go. <laughs> Hello. He, greeting whoever's at the table doesn't matter who's there. <laughs> I am Tomb. I'm just a man. Are you assassins? <laughs> I'm gonna jump up behind you and be like, because I'm not. So <laughs> what about oh, you? Guys? Good. He is carefully vetted. No, I'm not an assassin. Are you an assassin? <laughs> Have you come to kill me and my friend? I already told you I am just a man. Uh, okay. And the water deep guy has just flushed completely. He's gone like pure white. Um, I, he looks really can nervous. I, can I make an insight check on him? Yes, certainly. Because he thinks he's an assassin. <laughs> on a nat 20, you can tell that your question has made him extremely nervous. He doesn't want to speak to you. And he is also, uh, he's looking very scared. Um, that's as much as I can give you without turning this into detect thoughts. Um. <laughs> he leans very close, his iron mask, like an inch away from this guy's face. So if the guy leans back, he leans further. He says, I'm watching you. And I'm looking oh. back at the others like, <laughs> I walk up to the table <laughs> and I'm like, oh, hey, so this is my friend. This is Tomb and I gotta like put my arm around his like big, like melee-ness or armor-ness. I'm just like, this is Tomb. He's, he's a hoot. He's great. <gasps> he's really funny, isn't he? Like, like, like friends. Yeah, the, the guy from Waterdeep looks like he's about to like burst into tears or something. And he's like, the other guy's like, look, actually now you mention it. We were just talking about assassins. Wow, well, this is coincidence. Keep Ooh. it down, keep it I'm down. I'm like now judgingly looking at Tomb, like, do you know something? <laughs> no, look. <laughs> asking for assassins. I'm from, I'm from, I'm from what? Well, my buddy here from Waterdeep, well, he delivers things for a living. And someone asked him to deliver something. And ever since then, people have been like, 
turning up and wrecking his stuff. Like, he got back to his house just after it had been turned over, and he found threats at his mum's place. I mean, who sends threats to your mum's place, you know? And, and honestly, I'm glad that you say you're not an assassin, Mr. Big Scary Man. Just a man, but very scary, no less. Um, because, you know, if you were here to kill him, I don't think there's anything we could do about it. <laughs> That's a very good joke. <laughs> I think uh, Azza has also walked over at this point and been like, that doesn't sound cool, dude. Like, what'd you do? What'd you deliver? I, like, I, I, who'd I, you make angry? I don't know. It was just, look, here's a package. Just to deliver it to the guard captain and be on your way. That's... Who gave you the package? What kind of stuff is in there? <laughs> A man, a man with 50 gold pieces. Okay, yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. I didn't quite catch, catch two. Did you look in the package? No, I just delivered it. Maybe you should stop doing it. No, sorry, but you've, you turned my blood or something awful. I'll be right back. And he gets up to walk away from, from the table. I put, I sit in his chair. Uh, I literally just take a seat. That's a tad bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> Five uh, second rule. I would agree. This is a tad bit strange. Just, I mean, I know he's wearing mail, but I didn't think he was a mailman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but aren't mailmen supposed to deliver stuff anyway? But it, it's got an address on it, doesn't it? To, from... Did it he seems he like this... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, did he give us the package? Like, is it... Can no, we see it? No, he delivered it weeks ago. Oh! This is what I mean. I don't understand. He just did his job. He got paid the money. And now everyone's trying to kill him. So... So who did, he, who did he give the package to again? Who's the recipient? He had to deliver it to the guard captain. Huh. Maybe we should talk to the guard captain. He sounds yeah, a bit... Where, where's <sighs> this dude at? Oh, he, well, he'll be back in Waterdeep, I guess. He's come up this way to get away. He's going to come back with me. We're just stopping here for the one night for a drink. True. And can I really be asked to go all the way to Waterdeep? Hmm. I've just walked miles. <laughs> like she says, like thinking of <laughs> the, the long way round she went. How far away is Waterdeep from us right now? Probably, um, let's say, a, uh, at least three quarters of a day travel. You'd have to make a stop. Unless you were really gunning it and had fresh horses. Hmm. I gotcha. Uh, I'm going to ask everyone. I'm just like, hey. It's kind of a weird place to be. It's a small town. What are y'all doing here? Well, I was just passing through. And to be honest, I wasn't, I'm not even sure if this is the pub I was meant to be going to. Like, that man gave me some weird ass directions. <laughs> what was the name of the pub that he was telling you to go to? I don't know. It just had a picture of like a dragon on it and a spear and a. Where are we? This is the skittish mare. Has it got a dragon and a spear on it? Uh, no, it's got a nervous looking pony. <laughs> <laughs> Probably in the wrong place then. <laughs> As the door opens and the mailman is returning to the uh, table, um, the tavern suddenly falls into darkness. Do any of you have dark vision? I no, I am a human. Yeah. Well, person with dark vision, you also cannot see. Telling oh. you that this is not normal darkness, but magical darkness. Okay. Dude, who turned out the lights? Someone didn't pay their bills. Holy crap, is this what darkness is? Um, Tomb will push immediately, start pushing his way through the darkness towards that back corner where Sir Reginald was sitting. Mm -hmm. The lights like come matching around. The lights come back up as Tomb starts bouldering through tables. 
What are you uh, doing? <laughs> the <laughs> fire is now out. You can hear the sounds of outside. And the man in the water deep mail lays dead on the floor. This is not a safe tavern. Holy moly. Uh, can I lay... Uh, can you... Sp oh, I don't have it. Never mind. I, I don't have that. That's gone. Can I go over and check him, please? Like, how has he died? Yeah. Uh, Dude, this guy is not going to Woodstock this year. <laughs> uh, give me a medicine check. Um, to get some information, you need a DC of 15. Uh, to get all the information... <laughs> the 22 would have done it for you if you'd have got all the information, but... Um, a five does not. This person is cold. Guys, he's really cold and he's not moving. <laughs> Let me I'll check him out. I'm going to... assassin. I'm sorry? <laughs> he probably was not the assassin. <laughs> I was wrong. Does that mean there's an actual assassin in here? And like she starts looking around. Uh, so I'm going to go over and also just take a look at him. Like I'm going to take off the glasses, you know, like throw the hair back and like really look at him. Okay. Uh, medicine check? Yes, please. Medicine check. Eh, 10. On a 10, it's a lot better than a 5. You can tell that he is, in fact, dead, and that it looks like he choked. Hmm. Well, I tell that to everybody else. I'm carrying a little bit behind, too. Uh, who's still here uh, now that the lights are on? Well, the barmaid stands behind the bar. She's looking towards the body, looking pasty white. Um, you can still see uh, the man in plate mail with the gold lion on his chest and the long moustaches. Um, you can still see the old crone sitting there with uh, her hooked nose and a wart on it. And uh, she, uh, during the blackness, it would seem that she's taken out some crochet and started a crochet blanket. I eye her, <laughs> like glare at her a little bit. Who crochets in the middle of a murder? Uh, Assassins. Tale of two cities. Assassins. Like, I'm just agreeing with Tome while still <laughs> hiding behind him. Um. Hmm. Nobody move. There's been a murder here. Just in case anybody in the <laughs> tavern didn't see this dead body. Are people are people flipping out over the uh, the darkness? Like, does it seem like a, everybody else is pretty there, chill? Yeah. Or? There were cries. Um, there were cries during the darkness. And uh, the only person who ignores you about not moving is uh, this guy who is sitting at the table with you. He rushes over to his friend, and uh, he's on this. He's on the floor, and he's like touching him, like, "Mate, mate, you're right. Come on, mate. You can pull through this. You, you'll be all right." And he's like trying to do CPR and stuff. He doesn't know what CPR is though, so he's basically just punching his chest. Here, let me try. Toom will go down and start punching his chest too. Oh, and try to help. I'll be like, don't maim the body. Have some respect, like from the line. Oh. <laughs> he stops. <laughs> uh, so there's another. You said there's another male, like the the gold male wearing. Yeah, yeah, there's a gold. Yeah, it's like I'm more getting like... confused between two males right now. We've got water deep male and what is it? A male wearer? Uh, uh, plate male. So we've got plate. <laughs> Why don't we call it plate armor and a uh -huh. male delivery boy? There you go. <laughs> Are they both also male? Funnily enough, oh, yes. God. <laughs> oh god, it's a vicious circle. <laughs> One is a male man. Yes, as in a male man, not a male man. Um, uh, a man who delivers mail, but not males, male, which would be the plural and the singular. Is there anyone closer to the water deep male man? <laughs> no. That has moved in the darkness. No. So let's let's uh just to just to clarify, there's only the one guy. There's the crone, and then there's the barmaid. Is there anybody else in the bar other than us? No. Hmm. If any players can't remember the odd one out, could you please make me a history check and I will feed it to you for a 15. Oh. Uh, I got a nat one. <laughs> Which is good, because you technically weren't in the bar earlier. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and two. <laughs> two, you've been standing there all day and you, you've lost track of this guy. Cerisee, 
Uh, there was a there was a young man in a cloaked hood who was sitting opposite the old crone. And he's gone. He's missing. <gasps> I what? go over what to is the old it? crone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll let everyone know, but like, yeah, there was there was a, a dude just just there, not wearing mail. He was in a hood. Like an assassin looking guy. I don't know. I wasn't here. <laughs> right. Uh, the door to the lavatory opens and uh, the cloaked figure walks out. I bundle him. <laughs> I'm just going to jump on <laughs> Make me I don't an know what I'm doing. <laughs> Make me an athletics check. <laughs> I got a nine. <laughs> I just flap at him wildly. Uh... Um, give me a second. Uh, he, he like pushes you off. Hey, what are you doing? Mm. What have you got hurt and why are you hiding in the bathroom? <laughs> like, I'm just really <laughs> accusing. I usually wear plate mail. I've got hat hair. Hat hair? And I just pull its hood down so I can have a look. Oi, he's, he's, you know, he beat your athletics check. He's like, oi, get off, get off. <laughs> <laughs> like, a man is dead. And I just point to this poor water deep mailman on the floor. Yeah. Well, people die all the time. Nothing to do with me. And then I look like over at the others. Like, just... I have yeah. an idea. Raise your hand if you killed this man. <laughs> just kidding. He must have <laughs> left. <laughs> um, uh, I'll walk over to the table with the crone and the and the and the guy with the hood. Um, dude, don't you even care that a dude died? Um. I feel bad, but what can I do about it? What's your name, dude? What's your name? And I look over at the crown as well. Uh, my name is uh, Jagoth. Jagoth the, the, the Plentiful. <laughs> uh, it's not sticking. I've been trying to get that to stick for years. Just Jagoth. Plentiful of what? Well, I don't know. Life or something. <laughs> Enemies, maybe. Women, women, plentiful of women. Damn, that should have been my first answer. <laughs> um, <laughs> whatever you say, man. What about you? And I turn to the the, the crone. Does she talk? Uh, she's like, hello, dearie. <laughs> um... Who are you? What are you? Wh why are you knitting? You Crocheting. Pass, it Crochet, passes sorry. the time. Don't you care that there's a guy that just died? Can I'd cover him up or something. Like I'm just <laughs> stood by the body. <laughs> I'm sort of trying to find a tablecloth or uh, something. Behind the bar, the barmaid's like, uh, I've got a room at the back. We can take him out there, lay him on the bed or something. Uh, okay. And I, can I just? Try pick him up. If not, I will drag him. <laughs> okay, so Bismuth is going to try and drag this person into the other room alone. Uh, two more help. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so the pair of you pick up this body and you can carry him into the back room. Today. Well, dearie, uh, he is dead. Nothing we can do about that now. And I believe the uh, doors and windows are magically sealed. Do you mean we're stuck in here? I guess so. Uh, another beer? <clears throat> and I'm gonna sit down with the hack and have the... The, the barmaid's sort of like sitting on a stool like, help yourself. <laughs> uh, I'm also gonna sit down with the, with the crone and with the, uh, with the other dude. Mm-hmm. 
I don't don't I don't usually speak to many people. Uh, hello, is that how it works? I'm Skagoth, the plentiful of women. I'm not in the room, otherwise I question you because you were Jagger five minutes ago. <laughs> I trust no one. Uh, it's like, I only see uh, this. I'm sorry, what is your name? I'm turning towards the older woman. Uh, I... Some call me Agatha. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we only see Agatha. There's not very. That's not a lot of women. Are we included in this plentiful now? Eh? You said plentiful. I can I can I not count? I'm like looking and counting all the women, and I just see two in the room. Right? Well, oh, three, four no. in the room. Ignore my nephew. He's got delusions. Oh. oh. Yeah, he's got the delusions. He gets the vapors um, and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> I didn't realize the two of you were related. Uh, yes, we are. So what what were you doing in this tavern today? Oh, I'm always in this tavern. I've been here for weeks. I'm a regular. I like the area. What are you knitting? A blanket. Well, uh, oh. Can I get you a drink? Oh, yes, please. I'll have a sherry. That's adorable. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to like, I'm going to go over and get her a sherry. Yeah, you can, the barmaid's just like, yeah, help yourself. Man's dead in my bar. I think I've swapped my barmaid and Agatha voices. Yeah. <laughs> it's a day where everyone's moving, moving voices around. It's fine. Um, well, I think... We have to figure out who killed this dude. So I'm gonna go to the other room. And I'm gonna take a look. And she kind of like slowly saunters off into the other room. Um, I'm gonna like go through his stuff and just like pick all his pockets. Not like take the stuff, but just like look through all of his stuff and see like who he was, if there was any background information. I don't, I don't really trust if he was really telling us the truth when he said all he did was deliver this package. Okay. Clearly did something. That's why somebody wants him dead. Okay. Well, as you make your way to that room, let's quickly have a scene with Bismuth and Altoom before you get there. Um, mm. Just a short one, you guys. And also, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but Katie Faye's donated to give everyone a nat 20. Uh, so you each have a nat 20 to spend. So they're, they're carrying the body back to the back room, and once they're out of earshot of everyone else, thinking like, Bismuth, she gets... She gets him. So far, he, he trusts her the most of this group. Um, they both have equal intelligence. <laughs> she acted violently. She was the first one to, to try to shake down the, the hooded guy in the other room. He approved of that. So he'll say when they're out of earshot, I have another idea. If we set this entire building on fire, whomever is guilty will come forward. Very archaic, but I like it. I mean, why would they come forward? So that they can get away from the fire. Hang on, let me get this straight. We're in the tavern, and you want to yes. set the tavern on fire. Exactly. <laughs> and she just like contemplates for a second. She's like, whilst we're in the tavern. In the yes. fire. Well, we will. Uh, I'll have to think of a backup plan. And she just nods, like, agreeingly. <laughs> so, do we know that the doors and windows are all sealed? You guys wouldn't yet, no. No. Yeah. We haven't heard that yet. Yeah. So what and you're saying, we could make a quick escape from the yes, burning would... tavern. But whoever runs faster, the fastest person to leave the fire, they must be the assassin. Yeah, but what about the little old lady? I bet she can't run fast. Can't outrule her. Do you think she's the assassin? I mean, did you see those knitting needles? And who makes a blanket? 
in the middle of a murder. I'm just saying. That's true. That blanket I mean, is very suspicious. I don't, I mean, she might be nimble. Don't get me wrong, as soon as we start that fire, she could be out the door. And I imagine that's the first line that Azza <laughs> hears as she enters the back room. Uh, so, we have some news. Apparently, we're all sealed in. All the doors and windows are sealed. I looked by, too. <laughs> by, by glue? Or? Magic, I think. Hmm. I immediately uh, run to the window and try and open it to see if this is like an actual thing. Uh, it's like it's been painted shut or something. You just can't. <laughs> so I just try and lift it. I still think the fire idea is a good idea. What I mean, I like it. Idea. Uh, I just don't want to die. What fire idea? Well, we've got this oh. great plan. That if we set fire to the tavern, the assassin will reveal themselves. Um. Hmm. I, so, I mean, I, I've been s smoking this all day, but let me get this straight. You want to set the tavern where all the doors and windows are magically sealed shut. You want to set the tavern on fire. While and we're in here, yes. How whoever do we get seals out? them, they will have to open it up so that they can escape, and then we will escape. And we thus know who the assassin is. Um, what if they escape and then they seal it back up? <gasps> oh no, no, no! What if Waterdeep we... guy was the one who sealed the windows and? Mm. <laughs> um. <laughs> For safety reasons. I mean, I'm, he said he was being chased. <laughs> I'm going to look through his stuff, see who he really was. I don't really believe that he was just a mailman because, um, you know, well, who would want to kill a mailman? Who would want to kill a mailman? And I look through his stuff. <laughs> okay, give me an investigation check. Investigation. Let's go. Six. Uh, you find a folded up post bag, uh, some undelivered letters, uh, which are addressed, funnily enough, to uh, a couple of houses locally, mm -hmm. um, and a small uh, ring on his finger. Oh. A simple band of gold. Oh, God, he was married as well. <laughs> Seems like he was a mailman. <laughs> <laughs> That's some Poirot <laughs> shit right there. <laughs> why, why don't we pan across quickly uh, back to Cerisi, uh, the hag, uh, uh, the old woman, and um, and the, the young man, Jagaf, Jagged, um, the plentiful. He's sure on the plentiful bit. Um, what, what, what are we saying? She just goes back to her knitting, and Jagaf sort of just... <laughs> And uh, I'm sitting there and I'm kind of like looking around. It's a little awkward even for, for me, someone who doesn't really get embarrassed quite easily. I'm just like, yeah, so you like to knit. I don't. Uh, oh. Um. Uh, what, what do you like to do? Um... Boxing, sword fighting, um, I'm very good at uh, egg and spoon race, uh, and uh, what's the other one I'm good at? Uh, the three-legged race, I'm good at that one, but only only with my half-brother, can't do it with anyone else. Why is that? Uh, he's exactly the same height as me. Oh, oh I mean, yeah, that... No, that, that, that doesn't make sense, but I'll take it. I'll take it 100%. All right. Uh, and I'm going to turn back to Agatha and just be like, so you're from around here? Uh, recently, yes. Where, where are you from prior? 
Oh, I lived way up in the Perrin lands at one point. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I mean, what are you here for? You said you like the area. Are you just here for a little bit? Are you here for a while? Oh, yes. It's it's the perfect location for me to retire. Okay. Uh, what are you retiring from? Uh, being uh, a, a healing woman. Oh, oh, that's, well, that's awesome. I have some interest in healing. That's, can you, can you teach me something? Um, yes. Don't we have a murder to solve, though? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. The body left. I forgot. I'm, I'm a little, a little forgetful sometimes. That's body okay. gone, murder gone, right? But no, it's, it's the perfect place for me because, uh, I loved the city, but it's a bit, you know, it's hard work when you get older, the city. Uh, but I also like the wilderness. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I used to be a druid oh. when I was young, very young. But I thought I could throw back to my roots. And this is perfect because it's the main passage between two cities. But I can have a bit of nature right at my doorstep. I've oh. got a vegetable patch. I am jealous, and I'm just like, well, I wonder, I wonder how long we're gonna be here. Who do you think did this? Oh well, I never trust a man in armor. And I kind of slowly look over to the man in armor. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, the person, uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, he sits there with his white mustaches. Did you name him out loud, Satum? I think one of the one of the NPCs when I drew the picture and, and held it up, they're like, "Oh, you mean Sir Reginald?" So yeah, I think his name's been said out loud now. Uh, yeah. Um, so um, oh, you mean Sir Reginald? Yeah. Um, do you know him? No, but he's been in here for the last few days. Apparently, he's on his way up north. Oh, okay. I'm like, well, maybe I'll go talk to him. I'll go, I'll go see what's going on. And then I go over and like introduce myself. All right. Good luck. Thank you very much for the sherry. <laughs> uh, like, you're welcome. <laughs> as you approach, uh, as you approach Sir Reginald, um, he will look to you. Um, his countenance is grim, but pleased. Um, which is a weird, weird thing. It's very medieval, old man. Um, uh, and he just gestures to the seat opposite. Like, oh, all right. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm seriously. Uh, oh, what are you doing here? No, 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 seriously. I'm Sir Reginald. <laughs> okay. And, uh, uh, how, how'd you find yourself here tonight? I am traveling up north. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, what do you what do you think about this? I mean, we're all kind of stuck here together. Uh, I this, have um, been praying since the lights went out. Soon, my deity shall give me the answer to whom committed this foul occurrence, and we will smite him and strike him down, or her. All right, equal opportunist smiter. Cool. Uh, well, I mean, did you did you know that man, the one who died? No, but I witnessed everything in the darkness. I felt the darkness of the grave take me. But and, yet uh, I remain trapped in this mortal coil. Uh, can I? Do an insight check. I don't know if I believe like this whole this whole uh, thing he's doing. I'm like, is this like a cover up? Yeah, sure. Give me an insight check. <laughs> oh. oh, could be either way. You know, some people are open books, and you can read their pages um, as easily as looking at them, and some are just closed. If this is a facade, it's a good one. If it's not, it's a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> 
Um, are my are my friends all still in the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll pan back to them in just a second. If you want to close anything with anything. I'm just going to sit down with him and keep listening to him because I think this is so entertaining. Yep. Uh, he will actually probably go into a prayer or something. Lady of the night. Her stars, her body, the black velvet of the night, her very clothes. And down, and she, he'll carry on like this. Um, and we'll pan back to uh, Satoon Bismuth and as a light tree. Can we hear Sir Reginald from the other room? It's pretty loud, right? He has yeah. a booming voice. Yeah, I just sort of looked at Toom. I'm like, your buddy's getting a bit. I don't know what he's up to, but. We're not friends, but I should oh. go keep an eye on him. Why were you looking for this dude? The... Can you keep a secret? Yeah, totally. Yes, you seem very trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally Sir, am. Sir Reginald is old and his order has offered a significant amount of money for me to watch over him and make sure that he does not die. But he cannot know that I am watching him because he is proud or something. Ah, so is that why you're asking everyone if they're an assassin? I get you. I was right about the assassin thing though. Yeah, you were. But I'm still sort of looking in every nook and cranny if something comes out. Um, so who do you think is the assassin? Are they still I don't here? Know, but perhaps my god will know. He'll turn and uh, I'm going back to the other room now. I'll quickly I'm come with you. Yeah, I'm sort yeah. of like, I don't want to be left on my own <laughs> with a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run out behind him. So as soon as Toom gets back to the room, uh, the, the main room of the bar, he'll stop and he'll, with a, his gauntleted finger, he'll trace through the air a weird shaping rune and there's this light that kind of follows his finger and when he finishes, he pulls away the rune and it's like a band-aid being torn off of a wound. It's like a, the air being ripped open and from it spills this large slug. It's a really fat, really grotesque looking slug and it hits the ground. And this is him using his divine sense to, <laughs> to try to determine if there are, are any undead uh, celestial or fiend uh, creatures within 60 feet. Okay, so the little slug will slump onto the floor. It sort of sniffs the air to the left a little bit, sniffs the air to the right, like goes along the floor, has another little it sniff. It takes him a while. Bismuth is literally like, ugh. Uh, and it, <laughs> it, it, it comes back uh, like, <laughs> Okay, now business loves it. <laughs> like Indicating that there are none around. It was excited to find some. Well, my god was of no help this time. That was an interesting way to see you come into a room and like, hello, tomb. Uh, we what is that? Who is your god? Um, is your god. god a slug? No. The slug is just a slug. <laughs> Bismuth, what did we discover? Oh, he's definitely a mailman. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a respectable position. Married too, from the looks of it. Oh, do you think he has children? I hope not now. Oh. The, the bloke uh, is sitting at the table back in the room. He's like, oh, Liam! <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. And I sort of go and sit next to him, just like by his back. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Liam's in a better place. He had his whole life ahead of him. I know, I know. But 
He is up in the clouds right now, having the time of his life. Yeah. Or he's in the other place. No, mm-hmm. no tomb. He's not. He's up in the clouds. As I'm like looking at him, like we know that. I have a feeling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. Liam's up in the clouds. <laughs> like it's I'm just like propping this guy's back. <laughs> So somebody in this tavern killed this man. We just have to find out who. Uh, Bismuth is going around trying to pull on all the doors and windows. She's just (laughs) checking that you actually can't get out. Now, you, and I I point at his friend, I assume you knew him best. Was he really just a male man? He used to do favors on the side. But nothing bad, you know. He'd carry a milk to your mum. He'd, he'd, you know, deliver a weapon for someone he didn't know. But he wasn't a bad guy. Man, uh, do you know if anyone would want, other than this strange threatening notes, like, is there anyone you know of who'd want him dead? I don't know. He was real scared. Mm-hmm. He, he kept talking about... He kept talking about, like... You know, this guard captain, what... What gave him the evil eye. Mm. Yeah. Apparently he didn't like that he saw his face or something. Huh. Mm. See. Hmm. So, what do we, guys? What do we? What do we do? There's a murderer in here. I mean, and I just sort of shift around, look to everyone, and I even start second guessing the guy. I've been comforting, like. <laughs> I find that violence solves most problems. Hmm. I think as, as soon as you say, like, violence solves all problems after she says that, like, Aza pulls out her uh, her rapier and is, like, despite her being, like, a total flower child, is, like, very adept at, like, just, like, playing with it. Like, she's, like, nervously playing with this rapier. <laughs> just, like, swinging it around. How close are you swinging this rapier around? Just out of interest. Just, you know, like, you, you realize that she probably doesn't realize that she's doing it. She just, like, does this. Business will move <laughs> to the table furthest in the corner, which I'm assuming is where, like, where is that where the old lady and the the crazy knitting woman is? Well, and... you've got the knitting woman and Jagger the plentiful, or you have um, Sir Reginald who is now uh, almost he, he's trying to stand. You know, I'll probably stand near him because again, if he's bigger than me, like Tomb, he's a good shield. <laughs> if if I get yeah anything thrown at me. And blessed are the larks and the spurs and the horses and the lambs and the... <laughs> Okay, buddy. <laughs> he's really into it now. He's full swing. Oh, second yeah. second testament sort of. Is this yeah. like deafening? Like deafeningly loud next to me. Yes, yes. Moustaches blow every time he opens his mouth. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try and pass him a beer and just see if that calms him down. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, wait, don't. And I'll start drinking my, my my own just to see if it encourages him. And and the people shall rejoice and drink vittles. <laughs> and he sort of like just sits down with the beer like, vittles. I'm genuinely terrified. Oh, have we lost Alice? Oh no! Looks like we have. Anyway, we'll carry on. Um. Hmm. Fine by this. Oh, I'm she's st- back. I'm still oh. here. I can hear everything. <laughs> that was weird. Am I back? Properly? Yeah, you're oh, back. Yeah. You're back. You're back. You're oh, back. Okay, that's fine then. Okay. Oh. Um. I think at some point, uh, Azza will realize that she's like swinging around this really long rapier. <laughs> she's like, oh, oh, 
oh, I do that sometimes. She puts it away. She goes over, sits down by the uh, the old crone and and the son, and says, "Did you did you know this guy? What was his name? Liam. This dude. Uh, no. He only arrived today. Having a lovely little chat with his friend. He was. Hmm." So what do you what do you do here every day? Just knit? Well, yes, and she pulls out a large like sack <laughs> bag next to her. I've made this many squares so far, and I'm going to start knitting them all together. Why? To make a blanket. What's the weather like? Is it warm here? Like I'm totally <laughs> suspicious of this old woman right now. <laughs> Or is she just chilly? <laughs> just like how, like, sometimes old people are always cold. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm like, I don't know where this is. Can I call you a knitter? Perhaps my knitter? Your knitter? <laughs> that joke did not go over well. All right, then. <laughs> low intelligence. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's, it's okay. what's the barmaid up to? Yeah, uh, what is she? She's still like sitting on the bench. Like, I can't believe it. All this time I've come all the way from Liverpool. Come all the way from there and there and I ain't, I haven't got, I never had a murder in my pub before. And here we are today with a murder. Tum will straddle up and like clump down and sit down like right next to her and like slowly put a <laughs> metallic arm. I am here to comfort you. Uh, she like, like, do you know what? She's uh, slightly traumatized at this point. She's like, she just like, like, thank you. As he does, like he has a cloak that's wrapped around him in his armor and like a handful of worms falls out of the cloak and, and probably onto her shoulder. Hmm. Tell me, did you know the man that died? Uh, no, it's the first day I've ever seen him. Do you know anyone in the city? In the city guard, perhaps. In the city guard? Uh, I don't know that I do, no. He slowly turns his masked face towards her and his uh, grip on her shoulder just gets a little bit tighter. He says, you wouldn't lie to me, would you? And he's going to try to intimidate her. Please give me an intimidation roll. Nat 20. Oh. <laughs> this poor woman! <laughs> this barmaid. Oh, um, uh, well, you see her sort of tremble for a second. Um, and then unfortunately the uh, trousers that she's wearing begin to moisten. And uh, she bursts into tears at the bar. As you've terrified the hell out of her. <laughs> she has wet herself in fright. Tomb. I, I had a hunch. <laughs> he like slowly lets go of her and stands up and gives her a real awkward pat on the shoulder and he says, "You are not the assassin." Clumps on over and says, <laughs> "Oh man." have extra trousers i mean this guy uh, feels wrong just let her sit there i know this is my appeal this is my place i'll go out the back and get some fresh get some fresh ones i'll be right back i'll follow you because <laughs> that's gonna uh, <laughs> dude i that's not cool man just stay here let the woman change on her own 
human you, don't you, like it when other people watch them change. Oh, I did not mean, oh, oh. I mean, you could- I'll wait here. I mean, you could stand outside the door. Just don't look. <laughs> that is what I will do. So she enters the room with the body, seeking privacy, and goes to change her trousers. She closes the door, and you hear it slide uh, shut. Well, Be careful, there's an assassin around. Uh, like, you hear a bolt sliding home, like a dead bolt. <laughs> main room um could i ask everyone just be like hey you know what we know one of us is a killer here you guys are like gonna empty our bags let's just be honest with each other let's just you know i i like pull my two pockets out and it's just dirt because i'm an astronauty and it's just literally <laughs> like grit that comes out of my pockets um can i just ask is this alcohol keeping the other guy quiet uh, he's drinking it, yeah. He's, he's... Is he just quiet? Okay, I want to go and reach behind the bar and grab a flask, like a jug, to keep him even more quiet. And I'm going to top myself up, for one, because I feel I need it, because I'm currently nervous <laughs> that there is a dead body in the other room, and there is a giant guy with a booming voice terrifying people in the bar. And then I'm going to top up the, the whatever his name is to keep him shut up and just leave him the jug. And I'm going to go, I don't know, I'm going to walk over to see if Toom is still terrorizing the woman to be like, I don't think he gets it. And I'm, I'm just like, um, do you want to switch places? I mean, I know you're a great guy, but I think you scared her a little bit. Mm. Yes, perhaps this requires... Uh, Yes, and and he seems like almost happy in his step to, away from the door to <laughs> to not be standing out there anymore. Can I knock on the like the mate like the uh, barmaid? I'm like, Are you all right? It's all right. He's not here. Uh, you hear sort of like stumbling and stuff. Like, I'll be all right. Just give me a minute. Okay. Do you want me to wait here or? Uh... I mean, I can, but if you'd rather not, I just... I, 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 I don't really mind. I guess, if I have to have someone outside, you're better than the big scary man. Okay, I don't think he's that bad. He's just not got great social skills. He's a man on a mission. <laughs> And I just sort of prop myself up, like I slide my back down the door and just sit and wait. Because I feel she's utterly terrified right now. Oh. So wait, where is this... is... Sorry, is this room out the back? Just quickly. Yeah. So it's yeah, okay, that's fine then. Two room building, um, but there is also a cellar behind the bar. I was just worried she was in the room with the dead body again. So, because that's actually my what I was about to ask. I was like, wait, yeah. she's like, the yeah. dead body. She's yeah. in the room on her own with the dead body. Oh, what? Oh. Now, no, okay, maybe my character's slightly nervous again. Then. Yeah. <laughs> wait. Oh. You put you put him on her bed. Oh, now I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I will wait and just be there to reassure her because I know there's a dead body on the bed. Oh, man. You said there's a, a cellar behind the bar? Yeah, there's like a hatch behind the bar, yeah. Can we open that or is that sealed too? You can open it. Tumult. Mm, I did not notice this here before. Pulls it up, looks in. 
Uh, there are some stairs leading down. It's like um, it's like a ladder on a ship, you know, them sort of thin stairs at a steep angle. The assassin could be down here. I'm gonna walk over and like, is it to see what he's looking at? Is it dark down there? Yeah, it is dark down there. But uh, to your to your to your eyes, you can see um, there are some barrels and um, you know general like there's some sacks of like grain and things like that things for making bread that sort of thing i got you uh so do you want to go down yes i do does anyone else want to come i'm assuming i can't hear or see this uh well you're standing on the door right next to the bar so you can't Ah, hear yeah yeah, i can hear it okay (laughs) Um, um, yeah, I'll come down there. Let me, here, I'll help you guys out. And I, like, uh, I grab just, like, whatever empty bottle and I cast light on it. Like, oh, cool. kind of a, a lantern. I, like, hand it towards one of the people who can't see. Yeah. I immediately think of, like, the lights of Elendil or something like that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just hand it off. I'm like, here you go. Toom will take his shield off of his shoulder and kind of hold it in front of him and say, well, let us find this assassin. Boom. He'll start descending. Looking I'll be like, coming. yell if you need me. I'm still just propped up against the door. <laughs> okay. And Cersei, are you heading down as well? I'm going to, yeah, slowly kind of head down behind him. Yeah, I'll, I'll also come. Wow. Oh. Nergabert donates uh, for a wild magic surge for the poor woman locked out the back. Oh, no. <laughs> Am I going to witness this? And he also admits in chat that he's a terrible person. <laughs> <sighs> Again, if you'd like to check out our wild magic surge. Oh my god. Oh no. So. <laughs> That's what you want a DM to say, right? Um, if you want to add to our Wild Magic Surge list, you can do so in our Discord. It's under... It, Nightbot's already given the link. It's in the suggestion box tab. And you can also look at all the different Wild Magic Surges, including the one we just rolled, which was number 538. From inside, you say, it's all right, you hear? It's all right, Dad. I'll avenge you. I'm like... Oh, what? Wait. What? <laughs> From the, like, I am, I immediately put my beard out and just start banging on the door to be like, what is going on? I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe, Livia. Um, uh, did we have her name? No. Um, lovely lady. Um, are you are you all right in there? We'll leave that tension exactly where it is. <laughs> And we'll head under the floorboards where uh, where the three of you are heading down, right? Uh, El Toom, uh, and Azar. Azar. Yeah. Um, well, yes, with the light of Elendel or the lit up wine bottle in your hand, um, you can see the surrounding areas. They cast the barrels, cast shadows against the uh, the muddy stone walls. Um, this looks a lot like an ale cellar. How would you like to investigate? Um. It, how big is it? How large? How large is the space? Uh, it's about the size of the two rooms upstairs combined. Oh wow! Okay, mm-hmm. so I think very like meticulously, he uh, Tomb will start like looking behind barrels, um, knocking on barrels to see if they sound hollow. If they are hollow, seeing if he can like look inside. And he's not moving quickly, but I think he would start. At, uh, he would start at one end and, and start working. Working uh, forward, and I think. Azza will go to the other end and kind of start doing the same thing. Okay, really far. So if you both make um, a relevant check, it could be investigation, perception, uh, survival. You're looking for something that's hiding. Um, you can both do that with advantage. Oh, okay. So that's a 22 and a 20. Um, you search these barrels. There is one full of uh, full of chemicals, uh, another one full of water, there's one that's full of sweet, sweet ale. There's another one that's empty. 
these are all like 60 to 100 litre barrels. These are huge things. There must be a big hatch outside for getting them up and down. But can I... you turn what? out no people. Can I figure out what the chemical is? Uh, sure. How would you like to test? Um, whiff test. <laughs> the chemistry whiff? Chemistry whiff. Chemistry like, whiff. Not, not like a, but like a... <laughs> a waft. A waft. Yeah, exactly, a waft. Just it... a waft. I said a waft. A waft. <laughs> <laughs> Just wafting away. She knows her chemistry. <laughs> uh, so as you do this, you can get um, a tangy flavor off it. Like like citrus? Kind of. Okay, I um I'll dip my pinky finger in. Yeah. Anything happen? Mm, not particularly. No, it doesn't nothing particularly. It's just like a clear fluid. Huh. <laughs> I don't want to put it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm certainly intrigued. Me too. All right, I I take a little dip and. <laughs> uh, have you ever had um beer from a bad ale line, an ale line that's had a bit of cleaner left in the line? No. <laughs> um, it tastes um, sort of like if you mixed lemons and cranberries together, but took all of the flavor out of it and instead mixed it with like something coppery or zinky. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes horrible. I immediately spit it back out into into the barrel. By the way, <laughs> Ooh. Is this, so it's just is this just crappy beer? It's just bad beer, dude. Don't drink it. Put the lid back on. Oh, uh, is there like anything else we like haven't really looked at in here in terms of like objects we can see? Like uh anything in particular that would take your attention are you looking for useful objects or objects that don't belong or i mean i know they had both looked at barrels is there like any other thing that a person could hide behind oh okay um so there is some uh some sacks of like food maybe flour or grain stacked in one corner um it's not beyond the uh the the stretch of imagination that someone could hide in there okay i'm gonna like take my sickle out and kind of Slice a little bit of each bag, see if grain comes out. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Um, one, you slice one open, some grain and weevils tumble onto the floor. Oh, oh gross. Um, as you get closer to the front, the bags look fresher, but the ones at the back, definite weevils. Um, yeah, if you would like to make uh, also make a, me a, a relevant check if you are investigating, looking for anything out of place. Okay. On, a, on a 13, seems like a lot of grain. You know, you're stabbing in, you're having a good old go, and none of the bags are like moving or anything. Well, one does for a second, but you lift the bag up and a rat goes darting off into a corner. Oh. Oh. Well, no one's hiding in the bags. We got that going for us, guys. Uh, it seems a bit like a dead end. You, should we go back up? Whilst you are down there, as uh, you are banging on the door, um, Jagger forks up to you and says, Look, I'm sure she'll be all right. She's probably just, you know, not encountered this sort of thing very much before or something. Sounds pretty traumatized. She's like still screaming in the other room. Look, do you trust that bloke in the big scary mask? What, two? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Oh, all right. He's a straightforward guy. Oh, I thought he was pretty terrifying. <laughs> oh, no, he's terrifying. But what? you got to get to know him. I mean, I don't really know him, but I can see there is genuine thought there. Well, I'm just thinking that I'm not a murderer. And you seem too nice to be a murderer. And she seems too old to be a murderer. And and he seems too old to be a murderer. Uh, and, and, well, she's clearly having a mental breakdown. So I thought 
if we were to put something heavy on the trap door, then we could call the guards and we'd almost certainly have trapped the murderer below. Why are you coming to me for this? Just seem trustworthy. Why don't you like Tomb? Like I'm literally just now like this is this is like Bismuth going Agatha Christie hat. <laughs> <laughs> like... He's a big scary guy. Yeah. He's probably got weapons. He summoned a slug. You're hearing yourself, right? Are you not slug. hearing me? Look, I, look, I get it, I get it, but and she sort of has a bit of a think, like she sort of understands his worry, but she's like, I'm not getting the assassin vibe. <laughs> like she's really trying to get across to this guy. She's like, oh, well, who, who do you reckon it is then? He says, looking around. It, it I can't... take a step away from him <laughs> briefly. Just I back up a little bit. I'm like, I, I don't know. Why have you got theories of, other than Tomb? Well, what if he's just a really good actor? He says, pointing at the guy crying in the middle of the room. <laughs> uh, thank you very much to Deirdre or Prax... Praxagora Fesmophor... Now I messed it up. Uh, Praxagora Fesmophoria uh, for your two-month donation... Uh, two month donation, two month subscription, that's the word. Um, please feel free to gift an at one or twenty to a player or DM of your choice. Hang on, which one's crying in the middle of the room? The bloke who lost his mate Liam. That was it, okay. I've been... What, you think he did it? I gotta say, he's too old and uh, praying a lot. That's my auntie. It's got to be either him or her. To be fair, she does seem like a bit of a psycho, he hears, as she's, like, on the other side of the door going, rock a bye daddy on the <laughs> And I'm like, when are you in the bath? Like, she's sort of half talking to herself. Like, when are you in the bathroom too? She's not, like smart enough to be to keep this to herself i think she's talking out loud i think that satoom needs a nat 20 for putting up with mickey for so long uh he goes, well yeah but i was in a separate stall it's not like we went together well no but technically the stalls are in the same room I mean, I don't know. These are my theories. <laughs> are you saying you think that I'm the murderer? Not at all. Not at all. Oh. Otherwise, I would have tackled you far better than I did. That is, that is just downright rotten. That is just, just well, because. What about poor Tomb? You accused him straight away. Oh yeah, but he's hiding his face, isn't he? You're wearing a hood. But he's hiding his face, isn't he? Can I talk to your grandmother, please? What, is, what relative was she again? She's my auntie. Can I talk to your auntie, please? Well, yeah, go on, and I'm not stopping you. Just and I want me. to walk away from but with my back to him. <laughs> out the door towards the old lady. And can I just sit down? You can sit down. Like, I'm trying to make this look as comfortable and not interrogatory as possible. I've pulled my beer up alongside me. So, healer woman, right? Oh yes, that's me. As in like, you know, patch them up, send them on their way, or did you make some really like cool medicines and stuff like that? Cause you see my oh. mum used to do stuff like that all the time. Let's just say that my hot toddies are to die for. Right. Um, and I'm trying to think... People would sell their souls for my medicine. 
at this, my eyes just go, like, she's taking that literally. <laughs> like, right. So, uh, like you've dealt in magic, like you've sold your soul. People would sell their souls for magic. I didn't mean literally, dear, but they would often make deals. D deals? What what sort of deals? Like she sort of like she can't help but eye up the windows and doors oh, that are you sealed. Know <laughs> how it is in the city? The deals would be like, all right, well I'll fix your eyes, but that means you've got to, you know, uh, get my milk delivered for a week, or you've got to go and fetch me papers, or you know, something along those lines. Deliver a package. Oh. Like, this is... What kind at, of package? At this <laughs> point, I imagine the rest of you could start coming back upstairs. Um, Jagoth has joined Sir Reginald. Um, yeah. Uh, what kind of package? Or whatever needs sending. Like... They must be awkward, though, constantly sending packages. I mean, I don't be worry done. that they could get, like, attacked on the road or something. Like, I'd want to take it myself. How, like, if it was, an, you know, an expensive package. Oh, no, dearie. You don't send a wee bairn to take a package, no. You've got to send someone who's got, at least got a bit of strength to them. Like your good friend there in the armour. He'd be an ideal candidate, you know. If he got the gout or something, I'd fix it so long as he took something to the next city. Is she gesturing to Tomb, who's just walked in? Or? Yes. She, well, yeah. if she sees him, he will be, yes. Right. And and who are you making this uh, blanket for? Uh, well, uh, well, my nephew's getting a bit old for blankets now. Uh, but maybe eventually he'll stop dreaming about being the plentiful and start having kids. Until oh. then, I can always use extra layers in the winter. I'm used to living in terraced housing and out here, it's just not as warm. No. And then I sort of look very relieved when the others come back upstairs. Oh, hi! We were just having a nice chat about how... She has packages delivered. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think this calls for a drink. And since our lovely friend is still changing, I think we um, just have to get our own. She. And I start may, pouring drinks. May have gone it's a little. Her a very long time to change. She's gone a little. Do lally tat, I think is the word. I don't know if you heard some yelling and screaming on the way up. That was her. I think it's best leave her to it. We put the socks in the red drawer. Yeah. Maybe uh, we should check on her. Yeah. Okay, but someone needs we to come with me. I am not going in that room with a dead body and a crazy woman. <laughs> Here, have a drink. Uh, I'll need yeah. this. Drinks all round, yes, please, my dear," says Sir Reginald, finishing off the last of his jug. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll go. I'll go around <laughs> and uh, I'll I'll redistribute whatever everybody was drinking. Okay, perfect. So, um, other than the uh, mud, because I think we're out. Well, yeah, the mud is out. Uh, I'll drink the pig uh, instead. Yeah. It is and I'll, um, <laughs> and I'll pour uh, the sherry for the old lady. Mm-hmm. So she takes the sherry and she's sipping it. Oh, that's absolutely lovely. Thank you. And uh, Sir Reginald, he's like, yeah, I've got quite the taste for it now. He pulls, him, pulls himself a full mug and uh, quaffs it down. And as Toon he does... Toon tries to knock it out of his hand. Toon tries to <laughs> knock it out of his hand. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure, you can knock it out of his hand. He'd... Poison. <laughs> it can't be poison. How dare you? I back away from my tankard. <laughs> can I medicine check my tankard? Uh, can I Does... medicine check his tankard? <laughs> yeah. Anyone who'd like to make medicine checks, please do. Yeah, can I, can I do the old woman? 15. Yeah, has one, right? <laughs> I, I've definitely rolled a natural one. Okay, so... Um, Bismuth, you were checking your own tankard? Yes. 
It is not poisoned. Um, I poured from like. Hang on. Azza, no. you checked. Um, <laughs> you checked Sir Reginald's tankard. Okay. You have no idea. There's <laughs> all sorts of things in here. It could be poisoned. You don't know. Uh, Cerisy, which, which tankard are you checking? I realize I don't know what poison is. <laughs> I'm checking Agatha's. Checking Agatha, Agatha's on a five. She goes, oh, wow. Uh, oh, yes, horrible. you can check if you want, dearie. Why do you think it's poisoned? Because that dude just went down. Can I check if he's dead or oh, just yeah, pass out? Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> can I can I look over and just like check his pulse, please? Uh, do, I, do I need another medicine? He seems to be sleeping, oh. but as in he's but he's also not breathing. Ow! Oh. Uh, I start CPR on him. Can, also can I help? Chest pounding. Can I help with the chest pounding? This is and uh, it's lay on hands. It's just a very very <laughs> lay on hands. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> can I help him? I don't have any points in medicine. I don't think. So um, let's see. I'll get the left side. Uh, Alice, uh, you are donated two nat twenties by uh, Drake Iceheart, and uh, chat is also reminding Don that Don has a nat twenty. Um, oh, I've not forgotten. <laughs> so um, you can use lay on hands, and uh, he'll sort of like. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I saw everything. What's everything? The other side. Yes. Did you see Liam? No, but I did see Brigantia. Oh, God, it's him. <laughs> Blessed was her countenance as she looked upon me and oh, held me into her fold. <laughs> no, she welcomed me to the afterlife and I was stolen from her. Uh, I My... quickly nudge the second tankard towards him. Hang a minute. What do you mean the second tanker? The one that he was just drinking oh, from? The one, the one, oh yes, the one that he was just drinking from. I'm assuming well, he didn't I'll drink at all. smashed it out of his hand. I was going to say, he just sent <laughs> right, it Right, right, sorry. I pour him another one. Are you Shut the assassin? I'm not the assassin. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bluntly I just, <laughs> I, just, I just can't stand this dude's talking anymore. I'd he also like doing... to move away from the old woman. <laughs> Wait, how's what? our crying friend in the corner? Is he conscious? <laughs> Liam's Is he on the ground? Uh, yeah. Liam, he's he's still just sitting there head in hands. He's like, everyone's killing each other. <laughs> <laughs> We're accusing old ladies. That, is the barmaid crying in the other room still too? Is she like wailing? Uh, actually, like the door oh, slides open and she walks in. She's um, she's still she's wearing another set of clothes and she just walks in like. Is it you? I've decided. I need a change of career. <laughs> See wherever life takes you. I hope you don't mind. We helped ourselves to the drinks since you were changing. I'll pay for them. Do you know, I never wanted to be a bar, bar waitress. Oh, no. I wanted to be a bar manager. Leaping from bar to bar in the main <laughs> cities of Waterdeep. You can still do that. It is pretty much the same thing. And you got to get out first, and I just sort of rap on the doors and the windows. Also, why is your ale poisoned? Sorry? Poisoned. Why is there poison in this ale? Uh, she'll come over to the, ju to the, uh, the jug, give it a good sniff. 
and she'll take um take bismuth's pint from her and give it a sniff and a taste like well that doesn't taste right at all <laughs> i just put my tank back down please <laughs> whoa, 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 what do you mean not right she's like that's no there's something off about that beer that's not, how, that's not how it's supposed to taste. What about this one? I push over the other, my drink as well. <laughs> like, Everyone, I start passing like the old woman's drink as well. Like she takes a sniff of like, um, she takes a sniff of uh, your drink as a, a little taste and she's like, oh no, that one tastes, that one tastes quite nice actually. That one, Liv Liverpool, that one's quite nice. You can, you can carry on drinking that one. Okay. Uh, and business is like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Mine's not good, but hers is fine. <laughs> yeah. Were these from the same pump? Were we I'm drinking sort of the looking... same drink? I'm drinking the pig one. Who made... I think I'm also drinking. Who made these drinks? I mean, I just got them from the tap. Mm. And... Well, I would try the sherry, but I don't drink sherry, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. I mean, As I'm a little alarmed that your drink is not poison. You just got them from the tap. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to start pouring my drink in like a nearby <laughs> plant if there is one. I just want to get <laughs> The plant is like, Rah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's an awkward silence as you all consider <laughs> the fact that Azza's drink is not poisoned. Um, Toom, did you drink? take did you take a drink? Oh, Cerisee, did, did you take drinks? Because they haven't been checked. I yet, have right? a drink. I have a drink. I haven't had a sip of it though. So I'm gonna pass it over to our wonderful bar manager. And no, that one's alright as well. Oh, thanks, yeah. Azza. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to say I'm feeling pretty singled out right now. <laughs> and uh, what about this one? And I push over the, uh, the uh, uh, what is it, Sir, Sir Reginald's drink? Yeah, and yeah. Tomb. Did Tomb have a drink? And, and Tomb's uh, drink. Well, Everybody I did not drink. drink. Okay. <laughs> For uh, good reason, apparently. <laughs> no, she'd already taken the jug, and she was like sniffing the jug and saying that the jug was poisoned. Oh, the jug itself was poisoned. Mm. Okay. But was that the jug that um? I found a jug behind the bar, like Bismuth is like I found a jug behind the bar. Like I put I poured our drinks. I immediately looked to the bar woman again. So, some cups are poisoned, not the alcohol itself. I'm gonna not drink my drink. <laughs> okay, that's not pleasant. Let's go set it down. Again, just pour it away. <laughs> just, yeah. don't even it. Tomb, Tomb's kneeling down by that plant and like looking at the plant, like watching it to, to see if it like he's expecting it to shrivel up and die or something. Me too. I'm just gonna like slowly set the drink down, push it away. Uh, it, 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 I mean, the plant doesn't shrivel up and die immediately. It's, you know. <laughs> Soon could be watching from blues. We're all dying slowly. <laughs> Plant is dying very slowly. Um, uh, is everybody else drinking their drinks, or is everybody now suspicious? I was gonna say, what is like Jagath doing, and what? Who was there? Sorry, there was Jagath, old woman, Leah, uh, Le uh, Leah. No, no, wait, friend. his friend. Uh, crazy Frank. shouty guy and us and barmaid. Mm -hmm. Am I correct in that? Okay. What's Jagath doing? Uh, Jagath is sitting there eyeing his pint nervously, and when when uh, uh, the barmaid, who we still have not named, um... <laughs> what is your name, lady? <laughs> like I want to know now. Louise. Hi, Louise. Has this happened before? No. That's why I'm quitting. Is there anyone else that cleans your mugs for you? 
Anyone else that works here? No. You think I did it, didn't you? I'll have you know ah. that's my father back there. Oh yeah, forgot about that. <laughs> How <Whoa>. old are you? <laughs> She's about the same age as the guy. How is that your father? Look, we might be a different family. <clears throat> she sort of trails off. She has no explanation. <laughs> Is she? Does she seem like she's just like snapped? I was gonna say, has she gone crazy or? Yeah. Uh, DC two insight check. I'll, I, I might fail it, so I'll try. I want to see if I make it at this point. <laughs> yes. She's she she looks like she snapped. <laughs> oh. Looks... Oh, this is when I get a nineteen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> The, like, oh, oh. It would seem like a strange surge of wild magic has implanted itself in her brain and made her believe that the nearest creature was uh, her, her parents. <laughs> That's wonderful. The okay. nearest creature was her parents. Oh, that is dark. <laughs> like when you put a dead body in the room. Jeez. Seemed to work. Like, uh, all right. Um, I'm really sorry wow. about that. Do you mind if I go look at your father's body? I want to see if we can bring some justice to this do what you like we can't leave can we not yet yeah i, I haven't inspected the body so i'm like at this point i'm like okay is he poisoned like and i'm gonna want to go do a medicine check if that's cool yes of course you can oh yeah there i spent the 19 guys <laughs> yeah, he's uh he's he's cold uh he's cold. You do still have a, a nat twenty, but unfortunately um you have to call it before you roll it. I think yeah. you just have a nat twenty, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. Um I'm gonna sit down with the old woman. So when you were in medicine, uh -huh. did you ever deal in poisons? Not very subtle, is she? <laughs> No, dearie, no, never poisons. Although a lot of medicines share the same plant as poisons. Can I can I roll an insight check to see if she's lying? Of course you can. Okay. Well, seven. Hmm. Uh, well, she could be telling the truth. Lots of plants are plants. <laughs> Lots of plants are plants. <laughs> uh, do you still have some of those plants on you? Do you still carry your medicines? Uh, no, not really. Uh, only medicine I carry now is uh, some special tobacco. What kind of special tobacco? Uh, a relaxing kind. <laughs> is it the same as this kind? And I, I hand over the pipe. <laughs> Oh, Midnight Delight, very nice. <laughs> Similar, yes. Oh. I, I've got the Water Deep Seeper. Oh, yes, I like that too when I want to uh, spend a night in. Grows on you as you get older. Here, have a puff if you like. Uh, no, no, I don't drink and puff at the same time. <laughs> Um, suit yourself, and I guess she's gonna take a drink because she's forgotten that her that everybody else's drink was poisoned. But her drink wasn't poisoned, so she'll take a drink from it. Cool. And uh, and Agatha doesn't seem bothered about the poison. She's drinking her sherry. What's uh, what's Jagath doing? Is he sitting at a table all by himself? Uh, it depends. Asa, did you sit next to Jagath or Agatha when you sat down? Oh, uh, me. Yeah. Um, Agatha, yeah. If you sit next to Azafa, then uh, Azafa? That's a combination of both your names. If you're, <laughs> if you're sitting next to Agatha, then he would be sitting opposite them, just looking at his drink, like... Um, Hugh, he'll, Sir Tomb kind of, like, tries to seem nonchalant, but, like, every footfall is, uh, like a boom, 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 as he comes over next to... Jagath and he looks down at his drink too and then without warning he takes his fist and he smashes the cup 
uh, trying to scare Jagath. Yeah, Jagath rightly like jumps by like, eh, mate, God, get that. He just looks at Bismuth and says, I told you. <laughs> what? And I'm like, he has his methods. <laughs> What? This is his bad cop, bad cop approach. <laughs> what, what, what? What can I help you with? Don't you know I'm Jagath the Plentiful? No, you're Jagath the Assassin. Tell me the truth. I'm, I'm not an assassin. Can I play good cop from a distance and insight check Jagath as he's being intimid intimidated? Like he's, he's shaking, he's shaking his gauntlet over his head, and like worms are raining down on top of Jagath's face. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You stop that! Oh, tell me. Uh, are we getting an insight check as well? Yeah, me? I was going to say, can I do an insight check? Uh, can I can I assist her? Eighteen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I glare at him from the other table. <laughs> uh, he is he is hiding something. I'm not! I'm not an assassin! No! Stop that! Would you stop it? Is anyone that you know an assassin? I asked that to Jagath. Uh, no! It took you a very long time to answer that question. Well, that's... <laughs> That's cause, uh, look, we've all got friends, right? Who do you know that's an assassin? And I, I don't. In her very flower childlike way as she pulls out her, her uh, rapier and puts it up against his neck, like kind of jumps up from across the table. I'm still <laughs> eyeing the old woman, by the way, just to make sure she doesn't. Wow. Know. Look, I, I haven't got any friends who are assassins. Oh. All right? Oh. Uh, any no, 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 I've got lots of friends, thank you. He says with a sword to his point. All right, I'm, I'm Jagoff the Plentiful. You do well to remember it. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, he says, uh, but, you know, uh, sometimes I deliver messages. Mm-hmm. Still have the uh rapier to his neck. Like I gave Worms so fighting. all right, look, 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 stop <laughs> it, stop it, all right. In the bathroom, all right, I gave him the letters. Who? The body, the dead man. Oh. So you were in the toilet talking with him. <laughs> We, we weren't in the same stool. We went separately, and then I gave it to him when he was washing his hands. It's a very number one suspect thing to say. Well, what would you say? I mean, I didn't hand him a letter in the bathroom. Who gave you the letter to hand to him? Uh, my auntie. Huh. And I would I like to shuffle away drink. from her a little bit. <laughs> I turn my rapier to the aunt. There is no need for that, dearie. You're not just a medicine woman. Uh, well... well Actually, as it happens, no. No, I'm not. If we'd have got to lay everything out on the table, I'm somewhat of a hag. A witcher woman. I use the voodoo to heal people. <laughs> Is and she really you... doing that with the rapier right at her neck? <laughs> <laughs> She, she's old. She's got plenty of skin there, you know. It's... Okay. <laughs> uh, she's like, well, yes, it was just letters for my friends up in the uh, up in the city. Why was he getting killed for, or like hunted for this? Like, why was he having problems on the road? I don't know. 
We don't know. <laughs> What's in these letters? Um, one was a letter to. One was a letter to my dear friend Deirdre. Uh, she she's she runs the women's circle. Uh, just in the little town north of Waterdeep. Uh, another one was for the guard captain. And one was for uh, my sweet, sweet, sweet nephew, uh, Joffrey. An interesting name. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like him already. <laughs> uh, were these the letters that we had found on him? Uh, well, the letters that you found on him were addressed to this local area. Oh. Well, what uh, do they say? Mostly just catching up, really. Uh, one, uh, the guard captain had sent me a letter before asking me to uh, send him back a cryptic message. Didn't really understand it. Um, didn't really understand it. Uh, but he wanted me to send him a cryptic message for the next Waterdeep mailman that came along. What was the cryptic message? I don't know. It was written in a language that was familiar to me, but I didn't quite understand it. I could understand some of the letters. They were similar, but uh, I didn't really know what it meant. Who had the quill and paper again? Me. Write it down. Still have the rapier at her neck. <laughs> like, uh, we shouldn't go around pointing things at people. But no, you know, I like this approach. <laughs> you know, you know, guys, let's just be friends. I really don't, you know. And I'm like writing down this like letter. I'm like, it really just sounds like a case of the, you know, don't shoot the messenger. Well, someone shot the messenger. <laughs> I was say, messenger is dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> Someone is not telling the truth, because this is more than just poison letters. We are all sealed here. There was a darkness that I could not see through, and I see through all darkness. This was to look towards so the, the witch hag. Mm -hmm. So did uh, you cause the blackout? No, dearie. Do you know who did? Yes. Um. Oh! <laughs> and I start like... No, I'm sorry. I forget that you normal folk can't see through darkness, can you? I thought you would have been able to. She says, pointing at Cerisi. Uh, I guess it's just people who serve my patron. Who's uh, that? Uh... Sorry, slip of the tongue. Don't worry about that, new. Uh, yes, there was a young chap who came in for a second, cast darkness, and then left. Did he seal the doors? I guess so. They're magically sealed still. Though the magic's starting to fare off. So you didn't seal the doors? No, of course I didn't. Did you know this man? Uh, he wasn't from around here. What'd he look like? Uh, average build, average height, uh, sort of plain looking. Uh, he was wearing a flat cap. And uh, he had a uh, he had um, sort of like brown eyes, uh, medium spaced apart, sort of not really a button nose, but not really pointed. Um, he had a cheeky little smile though. It was like sort of pointed on his face. It looks a little bit like this, and she's like. <laughs> and uh, we, we, which way did he go? He I... left. Oh, he hopped on his horse and started heading back to Waterdeep. <coughs> Why shouldn't we just kill you? I Sorry? see no reason oh. not to. Okay, way! Oh. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, we've, we've gone somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's all just take it down a little bit, guys. I mean, she didn't still do it. on my pipe. <laughs> I'm getting hungry and we have not figured this out and I say we just let's just smash our way through this until we figure out which 
which one of it's probably this hag it's probably well, you. I, you know, the doors may be sealed but can you run through them surely you can break wood oh, why haven't you tried this yet I can try. Like, I haven't lifted the window open, but can I break it? Like, now I'm really good. He's gonna, at this, he's just gonna bound across the room and, like, shield out and try to slam his way through the wall and see if he can just smash through the, through the wood. Okay, give me an athletics roll. Nat 20. No, yeah, nat 20. Yeah, you burst through the door like it was made of matchsticks. <laughs> Out this entire time. I run to the door. I'm like, Toad, talk to me. <laughs> and, uh, yes, it was. It was just a door. We can all go now. Ah. Oh. Well. <laughs> now I don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, Elizabeth is just like, wow. Uh, as you as you stop interrogating her, because so she's like, oh, hang on, a minute, there's something in my pocket, and she like pulls out a little slip of paper and has a read, and then puts it away. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> can I try and snatch it off her as she put, tries to put it away? Oh, if you want to read it, you can. Uh, can I read it, please? Uh, she hands you a note, uh, which is written uh, by uh, someone who remained unnamed. Um, the the note says um, the old crone Agatha is my childhood friend and uh, she is rumoured to dabble in the dark arts her association to the church makes their reputation mars their reputation and uh, I fear an assassin is being sent to kill her go and protect her but do not show yourself. If you are discovered protecting her, you will bring attention to the church and him, whether she lives or dies. Hmm. So who is protecting you? I don't know. I just found that in my pocket. I oh, look at the nephew. What about me? I want her to come with us. Bring her I'm with us. I'm still suspicious of you. <laughs> I'd much rather just go back to my place and just put my feet up. Well, we could es escort you there. We could escort her there. Can we escort her there? <laughs> I don't see why not. He could have still killed this guy. I'm this too man. old to be going around killing young men. Why? What is it the church don't want out? I don't know. I'm not part of the church. Oh. Ask these gentlemen. They look like they're wearing armor at the churches. She refers to Tomb and Sir Reginald, who's looking very groggy in his seat. She would like this must will walk over to Sir Reginald and be like, spill the beans. Like and then she just slammed <laughs> her fists down on the table. Using the tomb method, got it. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's trying to learn from Doom. <laughs> but she's like, and as she does this, lots of just dirt falls out of her hair. And gestures to the seat opposite him. I sit down in it. <laughs> And then I no. sit sort of feeling a bit bad that I've come and disturbed this <laughs> What beans do you want me to spill exactly? I'm not feeling very well. Uh, why, why, why would the church not like someone like her? I don't know. I'm not a church goer. I'm part of the regiment of the churches. Well, do you know anything about that anyway? <laughs> No! Are you here to kill the witch? <laughs> insight check him. Insight check him. Roll an insight check. 13. On a 13, <laughs> you have this nagging suspicion. It's not anything 
not anything obvious. It's not anything about him. You've just got this nagging suspicion that he's probably not your man. Okay. And then, so, uh, Tomb, are you a man of the church? Tomb pops back in, having expected everyone to follow him out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did I do that? Why did you have me do that if we were just going to stay here? No, we're leaving in a second. I'm just trying to figure oh. out why the church would want the hag, sorry, killed. <laughs> hmm. Well... Which church are we speaking of? Which which church are we speaking of? It just says the church on the note. It just says the church on the note. <laughs> she could have laid a hex on one of their members. She could be stealing the souls of young children, part of the congregation. There are many reasons why one would kill a hag. Sometimes you do it for sport. Wow, he doesn't have a good reputation of you, does he? I said, sort of looking at the hag. Hey, look, I would rather you not kill me for sport, all right? <laughs> I spent many years healing up the young men and old women of the of the of the many places I visited, and if uh, if it's my time, it's my time. But right now, I'm enjoying my sherry. It may be your time. Did we check? Could I medicine check her sherry? Sure. Seventeen. Her sherry is laced with poison. I smack it out of her hand. <laughs> <laughs> it is not your time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, right, get up. And I just pick her up. And I start walking her out the tavern. <laughs> and Sir Toom will grab Sir Reginald and he'll do the same <laughs> Walk thing. Walk her out the tavern. Hey, <laughs> they're ready to manhandle me, sonny. I am a... I am a, I am a. I am a paladin. No. I'm as strong as any young man. I can walk myself. And he like tries to shove you off. Now, I'm ignoring Jagath. I'm literally pushing this little old lady out of the tavern. Like, nope, not safe here. Time to go. So, Bismuth, he'll, you he'll let Reginald move. want her to come with us now? I think we need to take her home. And I think she needs to stop drinking sherry. Yeah, no more, no more sherry tonight. We don't know yet. No more any drinking. We don't know yet. No more drinking. <laughs> <laughs> How do we know if we leave her alone that the assassin won't find her in her house and kill her? Well, should we just go to her house together then, all of us, and stay? I think we take this to the authorities. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you taking me? I'm staying here tonight. Where do you... mm, no, you're not. You're coming with me. And I look at Jagath, I'm like, are you coming to look after your aunt or not? Who, who are you, young man? Me. I'm just a man. <laughs> what do you mean, just a man? I'm just a normal man, like any other man. I think he could be an assassin. That's exactly what I would say if I was an assassin. I'm I just a normal man. Assassin. I would be very good at it. See, he'd be very good at being an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the old woman doing right now? I'm not really paying much attention to. She's just looking tooth. a little sleepy. She's drunk a fair bit of poison, but it's almost, <laughs> it's almost like she's, um, Built up some sort of resistance to it over the years. She's just looking a bit sleepy. She's like, no, I never drink and puff. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to take out my water skin and just start, like, giving her water. Okay. Yeah, she'll drink the water. Oh, thank you. I'm so thirsty. Is the barmaid or uh, Skagath? <laughs> Jagath, whatever his name. <laughs> are they are they following us? Are they are they staying behind? Like, can we see them like peering out at us as we leave? 
Uh, we're just leaving the dead body here. <laughs> oh crap! What, can we carry it into the street though? <laughs> oh um, poor Liam. <laughs> I'll go back and get the dead body. <laughs> well, don't forget his friend because he's uh, in the well, He can walk. He can walk. The dead body can't walk. Yeah. We've all got bodies now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Liam. Okay, so you've got Liam. Uh, Bismuth, <laughs> you're trying to manhandle Agatha. Tomb, you're picking up Sir Reginald. Liam is, uh, he's still sitting on the table in the middle of the room with his head in his hands. Wait, who's Liam? Is Not Liam. Liam. The Liam's the dead guy? person, sorry. Okay. The person who called Liam, Liam. <laughs> Liam's friend is sitting in the center of the bar. And Jagov, Skagov, or Jagged, they are, um, they are, they're, they're still sitting opposite uh, Agatha, looking now at the sherry. I've got, an, I've got an important question. Is the sherry bottle poisoned? I say we don't touch any sherry. Yes, no more drinking at all. I didn't mean oh. for more, I just meant because like they keep sherry glasses upside down, don't they? So there couldn't have been poison in the glass. I'm can I go medicine check the sherry? Sure. You do still have an time. Oh, seven. Uh, the sherry, uh, it's, it, you're not, I guess you're not a sherry drinker, or at least you don't know this brand. Could be, could not. Anyone else want to give a shot? I was like, waving it around. And the barmaid's like, no, I don't drink sherry. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a look to medicine check. Medicine indeed. Well. Much the same. Yet. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm I'm out the door. I've got an old woman slung over my shoulder. So oh yeah, I suppose I probably I can. didn't do great because I've got a dead person. Like oh, I got five. <laughs> None of you have any clue about sherry whatsoever. I don't drink sherry. <laughs> None of us drink sherry. Except Alice, you did try the other glass, so I will give you advantage on your medicine check because you can tell if it tastes the same. It does not. Oh yeah. So it's not poisoned. At least not in the same way. I sort of look to the old woman. I'm like, who poured your sherry? Uh, it's just uh, that, that lovely as a woman. And I sort of look back to the group and I start walking towards the old woman's home <laughs> with her on my shoulder. Just, just leaving, just outright leaving. <laughs> As a, did you, did you poison her? No, I poured everybody a drink. I'm like side eyeing as I'm like, mm. If you Very convenient. want to roll an insight on your teammates, you can. Remember, teammates, insight is not detect thoughts. You could merely describe your body language better um, on a successful insight check. Do I oppose her with anything if she's going to insight check me? Um, confidence, I guess. Give me a straight charisma roll. Uh... So, give us a brief description of the body language you're showing. I'm <laughs> clearly not very charismatic. I'm just like, uh, don't know. pull out the uh, the the rapier and start juggling it again, <laughs> nervously. Wait, hold on. I can't do that because I'm holding a pipe and I'm carrying <laughs> it body. Are you just like tossing it in the air? <laughs> like one-handed juggling a body and a straight pier. <laughs> No, um, you know, like, n piping, like nervously puffing on the pipe, much more so than I was before. As you did, you did poison her. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think I'm saying this. I, I, I'm giving the old woman a talking to in the way that I'm like, do you know what? I don't care if you're a hag. If you heal people, you heal people, okay? Don't worry, Deirdre, whatever your name is. Agatha, Deirdre, Agatha. 
Agatha is fine. It's all right. We're going to go home. We'll get your feet up. You can have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Tomb is uh, like just following Reginald, like trying to like urge Reginald to leave. and <laughs> Just get down. They don't need to manhandle me. I'm quite capable of walking on my own. I might have drunk oh. too much, but I can handle myself. He says, tripping over the, the threshold. Grabs him again. <laughs> it's like, come on. I've sort of called back, seeing Tomb trying to just get him out the door. Like, come on, Reginald. This for your own good. And I'm a, is Agatha just letting me carry her? Yeah, she doesn't mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are we all leaving now? Slip. With just like different people yeah so you've got the dead body on your on your thing you're seriously are you also carrying somebody <laughs> no i'm just like side-eyeing you hard like join like, in oh. grab I george or whoever he is <laughs> i'm like a very weak person too i have a strength of eight so i'm like <laughs> i'm just bringing the poison drinks with like i don't know <laughs> like, don't bring something bring with you <laughs> Well, what if we need to I don't know I'm trying to take them. her away from them <laughs> <laughs> you bring the poison I was like I felt left out like, put them down put them down I'm holding the drinks <laughs> I'm like my question is is there two different poisons then I'll need a successful medicine check for a comparison if you're checking two different poison things against each other we're going to need that successful medicine check. I haven't thought of that. Oh. <laughs> On a nine, one tastes like ale that might be poisoned. The other one tastes like sherry that might be poisoned. We have rolled so badly. <laughs> we really have. Apparently none of you know anything about medicine. We're not very At good any at point, rolling. medicine just, nope. Oh. I'm like... Well, I feel like these are two different poisons, right? I mean, they're it's the same person poisoning everyone. Why do they want the two old people to die? Are they ageist? They just want to kill old people? Just put it down. Like, don't bring it with it. Like, pour it out. Like, I'm just like, get rid of it. <laughs> I like pour them out, but I see, keep bringing the jugs. I'm like, well, I have to have something. I just look like the, you know. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, no, hang on, I've just remembered, you don't have anything to compare it to, because we poured, uh, we oh, poured... yeah, we poured the, we threw the drug off, out. Yeah, we poured it on the plant, so, <laughs> actually, donkeys are aliens, donkeys are aliens, uh, you, you'll never know if there were different poisons. Taste well, the, the plant. Yeah, I lick, lick the plant. plant. <laughs> Can we lick... I bring the plant with us, Go I want to see if the Do you know what, hell, <laughs> I'll let you use a nature roll if you lick the plant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lick a strange plant that might have been poisoned. <laughs> Don't do wait, we know it's poison because she poured her poison drink onto the plant. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you lick if you poison plant. yourself by licking oh, the plant. Oh, I did it like five times in a row. Do you know what? Lick the plant. Oh my god, you licked oh, the plant. <laughs> and you rolled an eight. Like you <laughs> You lick the plant and still don't know. <laughs> so you give the plant free good licks as there's free nature rolls there. And on the last one, you're like... Do you know what? Fuck it. One of them was above a 10. I'll take it. You're like... <laughs> this does taste like a different poison. My three accidental clicks was the best part. So I licked this thing three times. <laughs> Is she okay? <laughs> Be careful not to lick it too many times. It's poison. <laughs> Medicine check. Can I medicine check her now? As I'm like, forgo oh, for God. Oh, for God's sake. She's fine. As I'm literally like, nice. will everyone stop drinking the drinks? Stop licking the plants? Can we just leave, please? <laughs> it's quite clearly poison. That... Can we just stop consuming it? That sounds like our raid war cry right there. Could everyone stop licking the plants so we can leave? <laughs> While this is going on, Tomb wants to like lean in close over <laughs> Reginald's shoulder and whisper into his ear. You can tell me the truth. It's okay. Are you the assassin? Pardon! No, I'm not an assassin. I'm a paladin. The Brigantia. Yes, she paladin is. can be assassins. She is the goddess of life and death. I give you that. But she's also the goddess of the harvest and the livestock. No, I am not about slaying a poor lamb in his in his youth. Mm. 
No, not unless he had some terrible disease. No. What do you mean, terrible disease? More like foot and mouth or something, but the human version. I don't know. I'm a farmer before I became a paladin. I'm with rubbish mm. in medicine rolls. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> uh, how big is Liam? He's big enough. He's about six foot. Don't carry him next to his dead I, friend. So, no, no, wait. Liam is the dead guy, right? I'm so confused. He is the dead guy. Okay. <laughs> I think... So I, I'm not that strong either and i certainly don't can't carry a six foot one guy so <laughs> i think i may just like start to sag a little bit <laughs> <So> like <laughs> like fall over as i'm trying to like can i go see if i can take liam off i don't know i'm asking i think i'm just weaker can i try take liam off her and carry a witch on one side and liam on, the other? Liam on the other side what if I just like grab his middle with you guys? I'm not very strong either. It might take three weak people to carry this man. Like, you okay. Know, like have him in a fireman's hold. Try I, to like I flip feel... him over so that like you can grab his legs. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be sleight of hand checks or something. Okay, sleight of hand. So all of us sleight of hand. Oh my gosh, I'm a rogue. I got a seven. I have a <laughs> plus five. 13. I got a three. So. Did I drop oh, him? Brilliant. Brilliant. I dropped him. <laughs> uh, Gem song that's come in just after our rolls. No, you didn't drop him. So what's <laughs> happened is as a has flipped this body over onto you, it's hit the old woman. <laughs> the old woman has tumbled from your gla glass oh and God, I... all of you have fallen into a heap. Agatha's head hits the floor. We're making a loud sound. <laughs> Agatha. Agatha, Christine, you are right. I would like to medicine check Agatha. Oh my god, I'll, I'll is crash Agatha dead? Okay. Can I also medicine check Agatha? Yes, DC of five. Okay, Can there's I the sixteen. Healing light. Oh my god, her? she's dead, isn't she? Is she dead? Does your healing light heal grievous wounds? I can do two d sixes. <laughs> The problem is the back of her skull's just been caved in, as Azza will tell from looking at her floor at the floor. So she would need to have her skull sort of like put back together before the healing will do anything. Otherwise, it's just going to heal yeah. the fractured bits of sc skull <laughs> into her brain. What kind of role is that? <laughs> what kind? Of <laughs> Tomb turns and see this. He starts laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is a good joke. <laughs> Not a joke, too, um, as I'm trying to leave. I can do a, all of my healing on her. I have, like, a, pure wounds, too. As it slowly starts to just back away and be like, I didn't do this, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure you did poison her, though. <laughs> I'm just saying, as I'm very confused by this right now. <laughs> Can I nat 20 stick her back together? Like, how, how does this work? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, as, oh, as an earth to Nazi, can I like pull mud out of my pockets and try and like patch her up? Well, as it happens, um, Gemsong put... donated for each of you to have a nat 20, which you must use on your next roll. So I guess it would be, I mean, this is interesting because it would normally be a sleight of hand check using your intelligence instead of your um, instead of your dexterity, like doing a jigsaw puzzle. However, with a nat twenty, <laughs> hell, why not? Yeah, her head's just currently like a broken vase that you have like just put roughly together in the right place. I guess you're holding it in place and going, "Seriously, now." Sort of like <laughs> I'm sort of waffle and daubing her back together, <laughs> like... and I use my healing light to try to help mend the mud and skull back together properly with her. But she's a hag. She's a witch. <laughs> but no, she witches are bad. People. She healed people, just different beliefs, as I sort of slap more mud on the back of her head. <laughs> Does her hair look like your hair now? Probably. Probably still better, though. <laughs> can, I just, can I just 
so her her skull's broken and you're just shoving mud no i'm creating mud. like a little mud helmet to keep it all in place <laughs> <laughs> like a waffling door <laughs> helmet <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i never thought this would happen <laughs> So for the healing rolls, yes, you can roll a healing roll. <coughs> okay, first one here. When all this is said and done, I'll become a brain surgeon. I got seven for the first one. Uh, so she's sort of like, she's. we'll say seven hit points with the wattle and daub. <laughs> she's stable but she doesn't come round okay what if I do my healing hands for one hit point are you doing this like um like a defibrillator <laughs> Just I don't know I have one <laughs> one <laughs> boom <laughs> to steam um I'm just like kind of touching all over I'm like I don't know what's actually working <laughs> I'm only level one. As you, okay, as you do, as you do your one HP of healing hands, the old defibrillator goes down, and she sort of goes, "Ugh, ugh." Agatha, Agatha, as I'm just like start slapping her cheeks. Hello, Martin. But, but... yes, Martin. How's Susan? Ah, uh, Susan's great. She's absolutely great. And I'm going to just start walking with her after Tomb. Uh, I guess I'll pick up the dead body again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Can somebody help me with this? <laughs> I'm going to try again, but I'm really afraid of what's about to happen. I'm, I'm not going afraid. anywhere near that body. <laughs> All right, I'll try to take. Why like, are we, we bringing have to, the dead body with us? To the authorities. I thought that I thought we were going to the authorities. <laughs> I think we're going to the hag's house. Okay, oh. if if any guards walk past right now, we've got a really angry. What is Sir Reginald like a paladin? Yeah, yeah. we've got a woman, <laughs> a, a dazed woman calling for Susan with a mud cap on her head, <laughs> and a dead body. <laughs> Um, I do not think she is ever going to be okay again. She Maybe we should be? leave her here. Oh, no. I sort of like, we like her now. I sort of take her like... In my culture, she may be known as a vegetable. It's okay, don't listen to the megathers. <laughs> I'm sort of like... <laughs> Are you petting her mud cap? I am petting <laughs> that mud cap. Some say petting, some say smoothing. <laughs> Sir Reginald, where do you want to go? Uh, I want to go um, to bed. I'm drunk. No. Well, where were you sleeping? <laughs> well, I was going to be sleeping. Well, wait, no, hang on. There's no bedrooms at the tavern. Where the bloody hell was I going to be sleeping? Uh, there was a young chap who came with me. He was supposed to order my rooms, uh, but he buggered off. Oh, what did um, what did he look like? Oh, you know, um, average height, average build, brown eyes, dark hair, um, eyes medium spaced apart. <laughs> was he wearing a cap? Uh, no, he wasn't wearing a cap. No. Uh, who was he? Oh, I don't know. Someone sent by the order, apparently. I told him to bugger off once he'd left me at the inn. Don't need the order watching my back. I'm a paladin. I've been adventuring for yards. Hmm. Huh. He sounds like an assassin. <laughs> Oh, he didn't give me a drink or anything, if that's what you're thinking, Tomb. No, I had not thought that much. Tomb, did you ask a... everyone but the assassin who's the assassin? 
Where did he go? Where did this guy go? When you say buggered <laughs> off. <laughs> I don't know. I told him to bugger off. Right. I can was hardly that. paying attention to me. He was just staring at the barmaid. Not even that pretty. Looks like we got a new friend. That's a bit harsh, Reginald. <laughs> ah, I'm old. Can we go back and check on her? <laughs> <laughs> She's the only one left back there. The only one left? She might be dead. <laughs> yeah, She's insane right now. Right too. <laughs> so we, we dragged... the barmaid. <laughs> we took a dead body. Should we go back? <laughs> we go back holding the dead body. <laughs> Reginald and the Um, yeah. Are you going um, back now? Which way are we going? Lighters, I want to get to my bed. That hay bale looks quite good. Now. I've slept on worse than a hay bale. At least I was trying to make his way towards a random hay bale he see. No, 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 no. <laughs> he puts his hand on his shoulders. Not yet. We'll, we'll get to bed soon. But first, we have to find the assassin. My new theory. A wizard was this boy of medium description, completely average in every way. He turned invisible and did his work, and he worked with the barmaid to do it. You or maybe this. it was Jagath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk back into the tavern. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go back in. Cuddling yeah. Agatha very close. <laughs> so do I see Jagath or the barmaid anywhere? So two paladins, two rogues. <laughs> and we'll walk into a bar. Walk into a bar with a dead body, an old woman who was nearly a dead body. <laughs> it's definitely the setup for a joke, but um, you will walk back into the bar. Jagath and uh, and what's her name are nowhere to be seen. Are they in the back room? Can I go look? Uh, she is. Is Is she alive? She's laying on her bed, just crying. Oh. Oh. (laughs) It's all right. We've driven most of these characters insane. (laughs) You seem Uh, to have that effect. (laughs) Toom will check out the, the cellar. Look down in the cellar. Um, Assassin. There's, there's, you know, there's, uh, there's no answer. I'm, I'm calling out to him. Is there anything? I don't know. Let me look. And he pokes his head down. He has dark vision. Can he see anything down there? Um, moving. It doesn't seem as though anyone is moving. The city guard is here. Run. <laughs> Literally the crickets you can hear. That's that's what you hear. No, I don't think the assassin's down there. Can we put the old woman down in the bed? She may need to lie down too. With no. with Louise? <laughs> Let's not just make anything else worse. Are you like five and carry? I am. I am almost cuddling her right now because I. I'm just like I don't trust. I don't trust myself not to drop her. And I know I'm pretty sure someone's trying to kill her. So I'm like. <laughs> and this woman just wants to heal people. <laughs> In a non. In a non-churchy way. <laughs> uh, you know, too, we could probably set... if Well, if we get the, the maid out, we could probably set fire to the tavern now. Oh, oh. Um, Cersei, do you want to carry the barmaid out? Can't she walk? We can all carry people. I thought you were feeling left out. <laughs> I like pick up the plane. I'm like, I'll save this thing. I, 
Stop she picking up walk. poison stuff. <laughs> I just like grab her hand. And I like kind of talk to our barmaid. Like, oh, the barmaid. I thought you meant the plant. I was like, first yeah. you started licking it. Now you're picking it up and putting your arm around it. Like what's going on here? Yeah, what, what kind of poison is this? Yeah, maybe because I lick them. <laughs> kind of like grab the barmaid's hand. I'm like, get out of here. You'll be all right. I mean, really. Okay. And like, kind of like gently take her outside. I turn towards Tomb. Light it on fire. Such Tomb flips the table immediately. <laughs> 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 bar tables. If you're doing that, I'll just try and usher Sir Reginald out as well. If you start out, come on, out we go. Okay, so uh, you start flipping tables. <laughs> I'm, I'm posi- and then I'm sliding them, and pos- like I'm getting it ready to catch this thing on fire. Okay, everyone else is leaving the building. Yeah, yeah. I've got the crazy woman and Reginald as I move them out. Still got the dead oh, body. We- what about the friend? The friend's leaving too, right? Or the friend leave? Oh, he was gone. Oh, he was gone. Right? Him and right. Jacketh were gone. Yeah. yeah. They were probably the assassins. <laughs> <laughs> and you asked them so nicely. Wait, why am I catching this on fire now? You don't know. They could still be hiding somewhere. And could, yeah. That's good enough for me. And lights a torch and tosses just, it in. I, I, I'm just assuming if it's on fire, they are going to come out of hiding places. <laughs> okay, well, the fire will begin to slowly burn. Um, there was enough alcohol spilt on the floor, I think, for it to take quite quickly, but it is wood. So um, it takes maybe about, it's going to take about 20 minutes probably for it to start blazing, but it catches fire quickly. I hand Reginald back because <laughs> I don't want to deal with him <laughs> anymore. Oh, thank you. I, I turn to the barmaid and I say, see, if you didn't want to be a barmaid, life makes it so that you don't have to be a barmaid. At least I've got good insurance. What well, now you can go to Waterdeep. Yeah. You could Wait, be a- was this all about the insurance money? <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think so, too. I think it's fine. Oh, okay. You're all good. But you can go to Waterdeep now. I guess I can, yeah. I'll come with you. I mean, I've gone to the wrong place already, so... Look, it's lovely and warm by the fire, but I really need my bed. <laughs> I'm drunk. A nice I pipe and bed. That's the best thing. Where are we sleeping? This is a good Where point. Where do you want to sleep? <clears throat> I don't mind. Back at Agatha's place? Is there another tavern around or anything? No. <laughs> this is the only tavern between the two cities and you guys have burnt it down. Is there, are there like farmhouses around here? There's a couple, there's a village. It's like a little village, so. Come, Sir Reginald. We will procure ourselves a farmhouse for the evening. Yeah, yeah, uh, very good. Yeah, and he starts drawing a sword. Just like the old days, procure a farmhouse. <laughs> That's right, by force, if necessary. Ah, uh, no, no. And I just, like, as I sort of hurry off and follow them, still was carrying Agatha. So before you all leave the scene, can you please describe the scene to me as two guards walk around the corner? Um, what, you mean what we look like? Or? What you look like, who you're carrying, and what's going on. I can describe for you that Sir Reginald is sort of leading the way with sword out. Like, yes! Well, burn them all! Yes! <laughs> well, there's a tavern on fire. Yes, there is a tavern okay. on fire. Uh, I'm holding a dead body. Yeah. <laughs> I'm holding a crying barmaid and a kind of slowly dying dead plant. I am holding what looks to be my poor decrep- <laughs> decrepit mother. My adoptive mother, because I've remembered I am a Janassi. <laughs> Who I am trying to take care of because she's had a terrible accident when the tavern spontaneously burst into flames and she tripped on her way out. And I made her a mudcap. Tomb is uh, guiding along Sir Reginald, but when he sees the guards, he'll turn over and point back towards the flaming building. There are children inside. Hurry. <laughs> the two guards just sort of like look at each other sigh and go this is going to be an awful lot of paperwork 
And that's where we're going to wrap up today's one shot. Can I add one? Because I haven't rolled my nat 20. <laughs> well, you all have nat 20s that haven't been used. So if you like, in your epilogue, you can use one nat 20. Um, actually, hmm, let's see. We're at the end. Ah. Uh... Everyone roll me initiative, and that would be the order that we wrap up in. Oh, wow. Wow. So. Alice, I'm still thinking. I haven't thought of an idea yet. <laughs> you have the highest decks, so you go first. Um, I will probably take Agatha home. <laughs> I will take Agatha home and make sure Agatha is safe. I think if anyone tries to come near her, I'm going to nat 20 them. <laughs> That's the main thing I'm trying okay. to think of right now. I haven't had enough time to think. So you're I'm holding your action to nat 20 if anyone goes near Agatha. I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. We can go back to you. If anyone goes near Agatha, you can use your nat 20. That's fine. Um, so next is um, Don. What does what does Tomb do? Tomb will look for an abandoned farmhouse. If he can't find one, he will scare whoever lives there out of the farmhouse. Uh, put up Sir Reginald for the night, and I think as the night wanes on. He decides that the value of Reginald's armor and weapons are worth more than the reward for his life. And so he will probably rob him <laughs> and leave him there. <laughs> he has better armor than Tomb. Which is kind of convenient because as he sleeps, the poison is going to set in and, and take his body. Um, it was only a temporary fix. He remained poisoned. No one cured him of his poison. He oh. healed him up, but no one cured him of his poisoning. <laughs> um, so next uh, is Azza. Um, so she will very quietly also slip to um, Agatha's place and very silently and deftly use her nat 20 and kill Agatha because she was the secret assassin all along. So in that case, we need a nat 20 off between the two of you, um, which means you both lose a nat 20, which means it'll go to a roll. Can in... I not then use my other nat 20? Unfortunately not. In the, case, <laughs> in the case where two nat 20s draw, my ruling is that whoever gets the highest dice roll, that will act as the dominant nat 20. So no matter what you roll, it could be a one and a two. The person who, who rolls a two, that will act as a nat 20. Okay, so, so just roll a d20. What are we rolling? Just a d, uh, d20 each. D20. Oh, I've Ooh. lost. Yeah, hey, I've lost. <laughs> so, Azza, please describe your kill. I, I guess... Uh, Go on. I, I guess it must... Well, so she is kind of putting on the act that she was a flower child and doesn't care about anything. Very deftly, as an assassin, sneaks in through the window um bismuth is probably looking the other way or it's late in the night so maybe she's can i make asleep. i don't know like obviously I, I was going to flavor it but it's fully down to you bismuth is gonna watch you do it okay she's gonna watch me do it uh i guess at the very last second you know she pulls out her rapier slits agatha's throat and that must be when bismuth turns around and sees her bismuth watches you and looks over and smiles and says, I do know another assassin when I see one. <laughs> Paige, on your 14, you, you wait late into the night. You see Azar and Bismuth leave Agatha's cottage. Inside, you will find Agatha with slit throat. Is there anything you'd like to do? Oh, sorry, my internet froze a little bit. Was that for me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you will sorry. find uh, if you if you head, I, I assume you're going to want to head back to Agatha's. I was. If you wait late enough, you will see Azza and Bismuth leave the apartment, and when you investigate, you will find Agatha inside with a slit throat. Is there anything you would like to do? I would like to cast cure wounds. 
<laughs> I Agatha. Not 20 cure wounds. I love it. <laughs> um, and hopefully save her life. Do you know what? I'm going to be the cruelest DM. Please don't roll anything. Um, we're going to go for a, um, we're going to go for the Italian job ending. Who knows? Maybe Agatha dies. Maybe she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I hope you've all had fun. I've had a tremendous amount of fun this evening. You all were great. Um, we will do our wrap up in the reverse order that we did the starting thing, but with the additional, I think we all know who's who's assassins and protectors now. So, at what point did you realize who you were pitted against is my question. And uh, Alice, we will start with you. Uh, favorite moment when you realized who you were, who you were uh, competing against and um, where we can find you online. Um, favorite moment, I think, was Bismuth and Tomb genuinely considering burning the, the, the tavern down at the beginning because this is the logical thing to do. Um, I had a guess it was Light Tree, the way she was talking to the old woman and then immediately pouring everyone a drink and making a point to pour her another shandy. And I am White Rabbit Pick. You can find me on Twitter. I loved this game. This was such an awesome bunch of people. Um, yeah, um, I play on games on the channel and I DM on the channel. I DM Cypher System, D&D and Dark Matter. Um, and yeah, this was really good fun. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, next around, we have Paige. Same questions. When did you realize? What was your favorite part? And where can we find you online? I realized who was trying to kill Agatha uh, when we realized the drinks were poisoned and who poured them. <laughs> um, and favorite moment, I think, was going to be trying to put Agatha's head back together. <laughs> Because that was my one goal, was to keep her alive. <laughs> Without anyone knowing, I was trying to keep her alive. I don't know if that worked too well. <laughs> um, and I can be found at D and D and Paige on Twitter. Um, I have, I like to write for D and D. I have some stuff posting up in the next week. So you'll find me there. And that's kind of what I do. I DM, I play and I write. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, I've posted your links in chat. Um, if there's any other links, I've posted your Twitter. I did do a Twitch as well, but um, no game action, so I guess that's not so used. But if you want to post anything else in chat, in chat um, this goes to all of you. I don't block links, so if you want to put some links to your stuff, please do. If you have a SoundCloud you want to promote in this time, please do. Um, next around, we have Don. Same questions. I... Uh... I mean, I had such a great time. I love a good murder mystery, and I didn't know that that's what this game was going to be when we were going into it. I picked like the word, like just the worst character to bring to a murder mystery. I um, I, I misheard that. I heard best. Sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I think as a player, I had a suspicion towards the end. Um, that uh light tree was the was the assassin like but but tomb didn't care about the old woman that he didn't matter like he, he was supposed to be the protector of sir reginald but he really didn't care about sir reginald it was like i think it was 100 gp it was like 100 gold was like what he gets for keeping sir reginald alive and reginald has plate mail armor that's way better <laughs> so yeah i mean i had such a great time it's so great to play with all of you for uh, a lot of you for the first time um, so that was fun. You can follow me on Twitter at Donathan Fry. I play uh, a lot of games and write too. Uh, and right now I'm DMing. I just started uh, May Black Roses Bloom, which is a um, dark Dragonlance 5th edition game on Wednesday nights at 8 on Groomjack 21502's channel. Greg, he's a great, great guy, a great storyteller. And uh, yeah, I'm always happy to be here. It's been a couple of months and th this was fun. I had a really, really good time. Good, I'm so glad. So do I get 50 gold? Um, did you, Don, did you suspect that Bismuth was the person who assassinated Sir Reginald? No, and like I, 
<laughs> I, I think I got to a point where I was like, I don't know who it is. I'm just going to start <laughs> using every single person. And I just kind of went <laughs> down on that. So I think, Bismuth, I think Azza would probably take the rap for this. You know, she was the one who poisoned everyone in, in every yeah. else's. Yeah. So I guess you get away with it. You get your 50 gold. Thank you. <laughs> so last but most certainly not least, uh, Faye, same question. Uh, I had a great time. Um, as you guys all figured out who I was, <laughs> I, I just want to say I have no poker face. So this is so hard for me to kind of figure out how to do things behind people's back. Um, I guess my favorite part was, um, uh, actually dropping the dead body. I had, I think I had rolled well, and that was actually my plan was to hit Agatha with it. <laughs> Um, that was uh, yes that was intentional I think people realized um and I was like darn foiled again (laughs) um and I didn't realize that she was resistant to poison so darn for that um I think I realized um probably like with all the healing that Cersei was Agatha's protector. I wasn't sure about Sir Toom. Um, and Bismuth, Bismuth was very well played. I had no idea that she was trying to trying to uh, trying to uh, poison Sir Reginald. Um, I was just like, oh, I guess I guess there's another drug that's poisoned. I don't know who that was from. I had to um, poison my own drink. <laughs> I think yeah, I think Gemsong pointed it out in chat. Like when you were all trying to figure out who'd poisoned who, Gemsong wrote in. He was like. Hang a minute, she poisoned the jug, poured one for herself, and gave yeah. the rest to him. And, like, that's exactly what she did. Yeah, that was good. I had no idea. <laughs> um, so, uh, you can find me uh, on Twitter at Captain Fake I, fake and then I, spelled normally. Um, I usually play as a pixie bard on my um, D&D uh, podcast called How the Quest Was Won. And you can find us on Twitter uh, at how the quest um and you can find us on itunes and google play and anywhere else that you um listen to podcasts fantastic i've put the links there for captain fake eye and how the quest in twitter i think they're both right um mm-hmm. yes fantastic great well i'm glad you had a good time um i had a lovely time um i know uh it was sort of a last minute one because obviously i know um the, the posters all got brie on it unfortunately brie couldn't be here today so i just pulled out an old one shot um just like we'll do this and um it i don't think i I think this is possibly one of the best renditions of it um (laughs) so thank you all very much it's never been this ridiculous before and i mean that in the nicest and best way um i am scraticus and this is the academy where we bring new people onto the show all the time um if you guys would like to get involved please check out our social links here um there's our discord where we have an inclusive safe community and you can come and talk about D, come and talk about ttrpgs come and talk about anything else we're a great big happy family in there i love my discord i'm very proud to be able to uh, shout them out very often because they're great they're great um twitter if you want to get into a game if you want to come and try D for the first time if you want to come and uh try D online for the first time or if you want to come and help people who want them things please send me a dm and we will get you on into onto the show and get you playing games. Um, that is the main motivation of my channel. Uh, you can see the goals below. They're also on my pinned tweet. Very clear about what the goals of this channel are. And um, very much appreciate all of you who support us. Talking of support, thank you so much for all of it. Thank you for your donations today. Um, our progress is very, very healthy this month. Thank you very, very much. Um, yes, Potato Hollow, I think that's got to be the war cry. Stop licking the poison plant. Um... And uh, let's see what else we've got. We've got a Patreon. Uh, you guys, you can support us for a little as a dollar on a Patreon, but you should check it out anyway because there's free um, articles on there. Um, we've had two so far. We're looking to be producing free articles a month and uh, they will all be free to the public. So if you want to go and pop my Patreon a follow, that would be amazing. Uh, just go and pop it a follow. Go and let, have a look at the articles. And hey, if they strike home and you think you can afford to, give us some support. Also, we have merchandise. We'll be displaying it. Well, we won't be displaying it. We've not like got a table or anything at MCON. I'm going to be walking around drinking beer at MCM Comic Con next weekend, and hopefully I'll find you and sling some dice with you. Um, so will Alice. We'll be there in force. Um, and the, the merch, by the way, is very, very comfortable. It's very nice, especially the hoodies. Pricey, I'll admit. Quality, though. Very nice. Um, I've never regretted a penny I spend. Um, 
Sponsors, Bird in the Storm Publishing. Check them out. They've got wonderful merch. They'll be producing content for us in January. Mage Hand Press. Uh, they are um, they are the show that we run on Thursdays at 1pm. Argo 37. It's a space reskin of D&D 5e called Dark Matter. And you can see the 30 page free review and the uh, pre-order there. Um, very worth checking out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, they've got an awesome rebuild from the Gunslinger. Very different uh, to the Matt Mercer one whilst um, keeping the same sort of themes. Uh, also, um, that's everything because we haven't got a competition anymore. Um, I, I have a list of things that I go through, okay? And like competition's still at the bottom and until I write a new one, I'll keep saying competition. Um, but we are going to go and pay a raid. And um, I believe, yes indeed, um, We've got Unmade Gaming Live still raising money for charity. Um, so we are going to head over there and pop them a raid with the war cry. Uh, Stop licking the poisoned plant. Um, which th I think this will be the third time we've raided them today. And every time it's been a different war cry. Which gives me deep, profound happiness. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, there it is without Scrat Hypes. There it is with Scrat Hypes. I'll get the raid calling down now. This is the only part of the game which the only part of the stream that really requires spelling and I shouldn't talk while I do it. Um but I got it right. Um so we're going to head over there, uh keep the chat keep the hype happening over there. Um like I said they're raising money for charity, so lend them as much support as you can. And remember support comes in all forms. It doesn't have to be money. You throw at them if you throw them a retweet, if you throw them a follow, if you sit and lurk and get some more attention drawn their way. That is all valid forms of support, um, and we appreciate them here as well. We're live Monday to Thursday, 1 p.m., 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. EST, uh, and Fridays, 1 p.m. EST over on the Greyhawk channel, alternating Fridays, 8 p.m. EST here. Uh, not this week, next week. We just had one last week. We'll see you later on, you guys. Keep on evoking emotions. Have a good, have a good weekend. We'll see you at 10 p.m. <laughs>